Hey, hello, hello everyone. Hi, 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 hi. It's me. Hi, hello. <laughs> ah, uh, uh. The smallest and most efficient predator on the planet is me. Hello, hi everyone. Hi, hi. Hello, everyone. It is Minecraft time, and I have some funny stories from today. I have a very funny story from today. Um, so the reason I was a little bit late to the stream, I'm so sorry, I'm, I am trying my best, I'm just so bad at this. Wait, no, I wanna get my desk, hold on, I'm... Uh, I'm podcasting, wait. I would like to podcast. Let me podcast, let me cook. Oh, and this is me on this side, actually. I like to yap. I want to yap. Let me yap. Oh yeah. Maybe this is actually just gonna go down here. Is that good? Does that look about right? That looks about right to me. Okay, let me yap. Okay, so I have a really funny story for today. So, um, I love my mom. My mom is really, really, really cool. I don't live by my mom. I love my grandparents. Uh, but my mom doesn't live far away. She lives about maybe like five minutes down the road from me. And I love to go hang out with my mom. It's like the best time of the day. I love my mom. Um, but we haven't been able to hang out much since I debuted because I have been like super, super, super busy and we had some family issues that she was taking care of. Um, but I saw her today um, and we got to talk about some stuff and it was pretty cool. Um, so <laughs> regarding my debut, she was really, really interested in watching my debut. But I said that because I didn't want to get stage fright, that I didn't want her to watch my live stream as, or like my debut as it was live. Um, I wanted her to like watch it, like watch the VOD afterwards, I guess. Cause I think if I knew that my mom was watching my debut stream, I would get so nervous that I would mess up on so much stuff. Um, but she has watched the VODs and I didn't know that she has watched all my VODs cause she hadn't said anything. And she, she's quite a yapper like me. So I had figured that if she was gonna watch my VODs, she would have like messaged me at some point in time and been like, oh, uh, I watched this video, blah, 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 blah. That is what I was expecting. But I didn't get that until I went over today and we had spaghetti. Um, and she just so casually dropped. She was like, yeah, I've watched all of your VODs. And I've also watched all of the Guardians debuts and debut 2.0s. And I was like, wait, hold on, I need, to get, I need to get good at my emotes. I was like, what? You did what? You when? When did you do this? You did what? Um, and apparently she has been watching like our live streams and our VODs while she's been at work and stuff because she, she works from home on the computer. Um, yeah, so she watched all of her VODs and she pulled out a notebook that she had been keeping that was full of questions that she had. <laughs> full of questions. And she was like, okay, first question I have, what does forklift certified mean? And I was like, oh God, okay, we're going to be here for a really, really long time. <laughs> Obligatory hello furry mom. Yeah, everyone say hello footy mom because she might even be here right now. Who knows? Who knows where she is right now? <laughs> always lurking, always watching. I'm scared. Hi mom. Spaghetti was really good today. Thank you. Thank you for the books. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. So she was like, okay, so I watched all your debuts. I have been like ego surfing and like typing up your name on Google and like seeing what people are talking about. I've been on Reddit, which is terrifying because not even I've been on Reddit yet. I'm scared. Um, I don't use scary websites. I use like DeviantArt and I use Chicken Smoothie and I spend all of my hours of the day on Discord with using funny Discord emotes. So uh, she's braver than me already. <laughs> Um, so she was saying that she had been on, like, Reddit, and the first comment that she had seen someone make on Reddit was, like, a joke about me being forklift certified, which is, like, one of the jokes that I have on my starting soon screen. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, what does that mean? Because I went to, like, Urban Dictionary, and I googled, like, what does forklift certified? And then she couldn't find an answer, and then she googled forklift certified VTuber, and she came across like a weird website that was dedicated to talking about like NSFW art of really like, 
of like inflation VTubers. Um, and I was like, mom, what the hell? Why would you do that? And she's like, I couldn't figure out what it meant. So I decided that I was now going to write down all my questions to ask you. So yeah, that was the first question that my mom had. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? <laughs> She said that she really liked my video of me kicking Tachi across a field, which was awesome. Um, she said that VTubing to her seems really, really complicated. Because she was saying how, like, I'm talking to people, but I'm also playing, like, Tachi sound effects at the exact same time. Um, and I'm also, like, I have a slideshow when I have, like, marshmallows up, and then there's also, like... Uh, changing the BGM and changing the expressions on the model and then moderating people and then reading chat and responding to the chat and checking messages with my manager and looking at Twitter and uh, like reading into people and all that kind of stuff and like making sure the chat is live and the emotes and reading out notifications and all that kind of stuff. She's like, I have no idea how you do it. I don't know how you do it. And like not even in a, a compliment way, in an insult kind of way. I didn't think you had the brain capacity for this. And I was like, you know, that's true. That that's that's fair. Sometimes I don't even know how I have the brain capacity for this. I still don't truly believe I do. <laughs> yeah, she had like a full notebook. She has like a notebook diary thingy that she uses for like her her job. And she had a page that was like dedicated for questions. She had a couple of questions. She was like, yeah, I heard you read off someone's full legal name in chat. So I looked them up on LinkedIn because I didn't know if they were a friend of yours. <laughs> Oh, they're not a friend of mine. Mom. Mom. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you guys uh, have your full legal name out here on the YouTube chat, there's a chance that my mom has looked you up on LinkedIn. So, um, I don't know, smile in your profile pictures. <laughs> I have business proposition. I'm excited. Tachi kicks 40 when she receives 20k, 2k, and he will receive a year's worth of treats. I already know what I'm gonna do when I hit my next big follower milestone. Uh, my brother has a, he has a baseball bat because he's been getting into baseball because he keeps seeing it in American movies, even though we have no baseball clubs here. Uh, but he has like a baseball bat now. So next milestone video, I think I'm gonna baseball bat Tachi into the ocean. I think that would be really funny. Uh, yeah, 2k like tomorrow, so I don't know, because I don't want to spam Twitter over and over again with, like, subscriber milestones, so I might need to set in my head what I want my next milestone to be, because I didn't expect to hit 1k so quickly, because the, 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 uh, the touchy kicking video was in reference to me hitting 500, but by the time that it had stopped raining outside and I could actually go take a video without all the fields being turned into bogs and getting my foot stuck and Tachi drowning, um, I was at like 1.7. So I was like, oh crap, okay. <laughs> so I don't know what, what I should set like my next milestone to. I haven't even sat down and considered like what I want my big milestones to be. Because for me, my milestones right now are like, okay, I want a custom background and I want custom BGM. That's like my milestones right now. I have like a couple ideas regarding merch and like what I want to do for my one year anniversary. But for, and my six, uh, six month anniversary. Um, but for everything in between, I don't really know. I'm kind of just letting things happen as they happen. Because I think that's the more fun way to do it. Because I think if I set myself a goal that I don't hit, I'll be really disappointed. Itch my nose. Mwah, 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 mwah. You see me wiggle my nose, guys? Look. Mm, mm, mm. It's so cute. 5k? I don't know. Maybe I'll hit it like... Uh, maybe I'll set it at like 2.5 or 3. I don't know. I don't have high hopes for myself. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to keep these like, like appropriately low, you know? <laughs> I feel like 5k would be... Well, I don't know. I have to think about what kind of tortures I want to do to Tachi before I consider like my goals because if if hitting him with a baseball bat is the last video that i'm gonna do i'm gonna save it for like 5k but if i have some other ideas then i can i can spread them out um i definitely want to baseball bat him i don't know if i'm gonna if baseball batting him and then throwing him into the ocean are gonna be the same video or if they're gonna be different videos i could split them up into two different videos um, I don't want to roll running over with a car. I don't want to run him over with a car because I run scrump over with a car because he was really, really small and he could survive it. Um, but Tachi is a lot bigger and his fur is white and I only have one Tachi plush. So I don't want to break it indefinitely. So 
Baseball batting is good. Throwing him in the ocean is fine because I can just hang him up to dry outside for a couple of days. Um, I think running him over with a car would like permanently damage him. Put him in an interrogation room. I could bi I could get some like cardboard and I could build an interrogation set for him. And, I and then I guess I could threaten him, but I don't think I'm allowed to post like weapon imagery. <laughs> I'm like, I don't think I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> um, 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 I was trying to like, maybe I could throw him off a really tall building, but I don't think there's any really tall buildings near me. Um, you know what? I might be going to, I, I shan't say too much information. I shan't say, but I have maybe been invited to a couple of places in England that have big cities, so... Are there, like, any, like, really, really tall buildings that I'm just, like, free to enter and throw things off, like, off of? Am I allowed to do that? Where can I- <gasps> I can maybe, like, put him on a roller coaster! No, because if he falls off the roller coaster, I won't be able to get him back. You're not- I don't think you're allowed to get things that fall off a roller coaster. That's why they tell you to, like, keep everything in a bag, because if your hat falls off on a roller coaster, you're not allowed to get it back. Um... Hold on, let me like check. Let me check what rides a theme park nearby me has. Let me check what they have. Because it has to be something perilous. Par 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 parallel. It has to, there has to be peril involved. <gasps> I could get him. I could put him on a speedboat. I know someone who owns a speedboat. I could do that. Is someone writing all these downs? Because I am going to forget. Uh, okay, rides and activities. Uh, I could let a goat chew on him. <gasps> this isn't in the place, but I've just remembered that I think there is a place where I can go to do like archery. I could maybe ask him. I might be like, hey, I'm an influencer. Can I come to the archery place and like pin him on a thingy and then shoot him with a bow and arrow? Because I, I don't mind shooting him with a bow and arrow because the wound that that would create, I could sew up really easily. But like a, a car would just annihilate him entirely. Okay, hold on. I'm actually gonna start writing these down now. Let me get a notepad. Does anyone use like notepad thingies, like sticky notes on a computer? I use these quite often. Currently, right now, it is the lyrics to the Woof Woof Bark Bark song. Let me delete this. Okay. Um, baseball bat. Throw in ocean. Stick on speed boat. Throw off tall building. Question mark. Underneath a guillotine, I, I don't, I don't know if I have access to a guillotine. Uh, okay, baseball bat, throw an ocean, stick it up speedboat, throw up building, um, archery. Someone said freezing him. Yeah, lucidity says freezing him. I like that idea, but I don't know if I have a container that is the correct size, but I'll put freezing him on there where would i find piranhas where could i go to find piranhas they don't they you're not allowed to sell piranhas at a fish store can you i can't go to a fish store and like dangle him above piranhas i could put duct tape over his mouth and then put his head in a burlap sack and then throw him off the back of a truck i think that would be really funny okay um Abandon in woods in burlap sack. Okay, these are good. These are good. This is a lot of milestones. I'm gonna, wait, I'm gonna actually put these on the screen so you guys can see it. So you guys can visualize with me. Google says piranhas are le legal, illegal in the UK. I hate it here. I hate being European. I hate it. I'm kidding. Okay. Hydraulic press. Guys, where am I going to get a hydraulic press from? Genuinely. I need... Where do I get a hydraulic press? Where do I get one of those? I don't think I can just pick one of those up at the store. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? Okay. We have our to-do list. Have a to-do list. Baseball bat, throw an ocean, stick in a speedboat, throw off tall building, archery, freeze him, abandon him in the woods. Um, I could like, I 
could put him in jail. Um, I could do a bit where I like pretend to put him in a blender and then I just like blend some like white like stuffing. We could do that, I think. I think that would work. But now, now that we have, now that we have content, we need to figure out what order they go in because we need to save like the most traumatic one for last. And then we do that one. Like we do, we do the best, like the, we do the worst ones first and then we have to like keep moving our way up the list. Stella, hi. Oh my God. It's a Stella straight from the maternal crevice. What am I doing? Don't look at it. Don't, don't pay any attention to what I'm doing. I'm not doing anything. Uh, we're discussing, um, so everyone, it seems like everyone really liked my video of me kicking Tachi in a field. Uh, so we were discussing what else I could do for Tachi for like future goals. <laughs> We're trying to figure out what we can do for future goals and then also what order they should go No burps. Um, I also figuring out what order they should go in. I itch my ear mm. mm, mm, mm. R.I.P. Tachi. It's okay. He can, he, he, he'll live He's okay He's having so much fun <laughs> He'll live. He's he's tough. He's made of, of durable Cotton. What is he made out of, actually? He is right here. Um, he survived the kickening just fine. Um, he's like a little bit dirty on his left arm. He's like a little bit dirty on his left arm, but like not super, super dirty. Um, and then he just needs to be brushed a little bit because his fur has like clumped up from being wet in the on the ground. Actually, no. I've just kind of like br like just I've just kind of patted it out with my hand. Yeah, he's fine. He looks completely fine. Um, he's just like a little bit muddy on his left arm. Oh, Tachi, let me hug you. It's okay. Oh, 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 he's crying. He's crying. <laughs> he's a baby. Being thrown into a blender? Like, I could do a bit where I like, I put him in a blender and then I cut the video and then I take him out and then I put like a bunch of stuffing in the blender and then I continue the video and they would be funny. I think that would be good. I think that might be good for like the next milestone, but I think people will, yeah, cause people will see him like in the next milestone and be like, oh, he's still alive. I think that would be funny. So I, I, we have to figure out what the next milestone is here. I think baseball bat, baseball bat is good for the next one. And then I think after baseball bat, it should be blender. Um, abandoning in the woods in a burlap sack, I think is hilarious. And we could do, I could do like a funny edit where he is like trying to find his way home in the woods. But if this would require someone driving me to the woods, uh, which is far away. Um, um, throwing the ocean, stick it, sticking him on a speedboat, uh, throwing him off a building in archery are really tricky things to do. Because it would require me to... I don't want to put him in jail, actually. That doesn't... No, that does seem really funny. Um, because I can go to, like, a... I can go to, like, an old... Old Welsh jail cell that they have in, like, the castles and stuff. I can put him in there. Um... Yeah, so sticking him on a speedboat, throwing him off a building, and then archery, I think, would be the hardest things to do. Because I have to go to a place that does archery. I have to buy an archery ticket, and then I have to allow them to shoot him, which would be tricky. And then throwing him off a building would also require me to go to a big city like London, and then also find a building, and then also have that building be a place that is really tall and lets me throw things off it, and then also have someone at the bottom of the building who can make sure that no one seals him when he hits the floor. So... Those will be the hardest ones, I think. Oh yeah, and sticking him on a speedboat because I would need to find someone who has a speedboat and who, who would let me do that. But this this is good, I think. I think this is fine. I think we could do baseball bat for like maybe like 2.5k or cuz I think 2k is too soon. I think 2k is too soon. If we aim for 2.5, I think that would be really funny. Yeah. <laughs> Do you guys like my machinations? Do you like my machinations? I'm full of ideas and they're all evil. Throwing him off a tall building, yeah. Throwing him off a, mm. 
That would be dangerous because we would have to make sure that no one gets hurt. But the thing is, if I were to be going to a place like London, I wouldn't be going by myself. I'd obviously be going with friends. So I could get friends to wait at the bottom of the building and then possibly like when I give them the signal, they can like tell people who are walking by on the sidewalk like, hey, be careful, a teddy bear is gonna fall out the sky. And then they could also like record their point of view of him falling down the building. If Tachi finds a death note, watch your back. <laughs> What I am God, I need to get God. If I if I ever get a cardboard cutout, I will let Tachi uh exude his revenge. I think that would only be fair. <laughs> or maybe like uh maybe an acrylic sandy. Please just subscribe to me a lot so I can get an acrylic sandy. I love pieces of clear plastic. I love I love plastic. I want I woo. I want an acrylic sandy in myself so bad. Please subscribe to me a lot so I can get one. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> crucifixion! Wait, I'm gonna add that to the list. Cruci crucifixion is good. I don't hate crucifixion. That's fine. That's fine in my book. It's raining touch. Hallelujah. It's raining touch. He hates it here. <laughs> How do you feel, Tachi? Do you do you forgive me yet? No, really? Not even a little bit? No, oh, man. He's got a grudge. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't hate crucifixion. L cardboard cutouts are cheap on Amazon. Please send me your source. Otherwise, I might just like go to the library and print out like a bunch of pieces of paper and then tape them onto cardboard. Um, whichever one comes first. I think if I were to get, like, if I were to pay money for a real cardboard cutout, I wouldn't want to damage it because I had to pay money for it. But if I make one out of paper and cardboard myself, like, or like a, like a DIY project, I think that it would be funny to beat that one up. I think that would be really funny. Also, because I am excelling on the internet, my family is, like, more willing to help me do things. So they'd be willing to, like, drive me places. Because with Tachi, I just like walked, I walked around until I could find a, a field to kick him in. But if we're going to do the, um, if I were to do, what would I do with a cardboard cut? I'd ha we'd have to like set it on fire or something, right? <gasps> I know exactly what we can do. Okay, um, in the UK, we have a national holiday called Guy Fox Day. I think it is on November 5th. Yeah, remember, remember the 5th of November, gunfire, Gun, gunpowder, treason, and plot. Um, and it is a holiday. It's kind of like we, we shoot off a bunch of like fireworks. Um, but the main thing is like we have like big bonfires. Like a bunch of different places have huge bonfires. And they make effigies to go on the top of the bonfire out of like straw and stuff. And then they set it on fire. I could ask. I could ask one of the local places that do the bonfires if I could throw my cardboard cutout on it, and I think that would also be really, really funny. <laughs> my machinations! My machinations are insane and evil. Put Tachi on a firework. Whilst I do think that is hilarious, um, I wouldn't want to damage him. Again, I don't want to damage him beyond use. Um, and also I, I'm worried about taping things to a firework because I think that would make the firework too heavy and then it might get off its trajectory and then it might like fall and explode on people and I don't want that on my conscience. We need a Tachi body double. I should probably at some point order like an identical Tachi and just keep one that is in pristine condition and then have one that I beat up and then I can do a side by side. Do you know those like... Uh, photos people put of their teddy bears and it's like to be loved is to be changed and it's like a version of that teddy bear when it was brand new versus like 20 years later wait to be loved is to be changed meme where's my obs my obs keeps popping up my second monitor today i don't know why I don't know why. These images. Oh, it's huge. But this photo where it's like they they take like a photo of 
teddy bear when it is like brand new versus when it has been loved for like 20 years that that's what the two tachis will look like one will look like death and the other will still be like cute and fluffy and white <laughs> The other one will just be like missing tufts of fur and it'll have wounds from where it's been shot with a bow and arrow. <laughs> and if we ever, if I ever make Tachi plushies one day that you guys can buy, I uh, absolutely expect this same level of treatment. Please and thank you. <laughs> Footy t uh, shooting a firework with Tachi on it and then it flying back in her face is such a good image in my brain. I don't agree with that because that would mean I would probably lose all of the skin on my face and I don't like that idea. As long as you're nefarious and tense or focusing on Tachi, it's okay. See, chat agrees. <laughs> I am winning. I sure am winning. I kind of have to go to the bathroom again. Why? Okay, why do people... Why do people keep saying I have IBS? I don't know what IBS is. No, that's a lie. I kind of know what IB... It means irritable bowel syndrome, but I don't know what it actually does. And people keep saying that I have IBS, but I don't... I don't know what the symptoms of that is and i don't know if i should be like double checking i just have to pee a lot that's like my that's my favorite thing in the world no it's, it's, i'm just i'm just lying um yeah I, I don't know i think i just have a really small bladder you've just been acting funny lately i'm not real sure you want to invest a lot of time and money here what no give me give me so much time give me so much time and so much investment sell a pizza lot maybe it's just a thing that sexy people all have in common common <laughs> my house today <clears throat> hold on yum, yum, yum. hello david hello pablo hello foodie fever hello straight hell ho hellhound hello kuma hello absent-minded hello cruel Gem gemini hello suga hello scrap hello wild hello atrox hello jimmy mcgee hello kafis hello lundy hello ryu vanguard Hello, Zaz Zonza. Hello, Moth VTuber Clipper. Hello, Noob PTFO. Hello, Estella Starfall Channel. Parentheses V Reverie. Hello, Yuzuke. Hello, Lucidity. Hello, Korean. Hello, Ray Miyumu. Re, Ray, Re. Hold on, I literally have you on Discord. One second, hold on, let me double check this. Ray Miyomu, hello. <laughs> you can say crow. Okay, I will, I will say, is it, is it pronounced, is it crow, kro, or is it crow, like the bird? Greetings, hi everyone. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> hello, Unaring, hello. Hello, Sentai King, hi, hi. VTuber Flipper, it's like House Flipper. But you take like a baby VTuber and you make them like really awesome and awesome and you make so much money. Mm. Anyway, you guys good ready for Minecraft today? Boom. Where's my video game? Where's my video game? What? What? There's my video game! Okay, are we ready to Minecraft? Are we ready to Minecraft peoples? Are we ready to Minecraft? With a dry K, the first you said. I'm not a preview YouTuber, enjoy account, but that's all right. You know, I'm, I, we are just here to play video games. We are just here to play video games. So, last time we played Minecraft, I died a lot because I forgot we were playing on hardcore. Not hard, uh, the bleh. We are playing on hard mode, not hardcore. I died a lot because I forgot. We found a panda and then the panda killed me because apparently that's a thing they can do. I didn't know they could kill you. Today, I would like to... So I have like regained a couple of my items. You can see down here. I have like a, cu a couple of stuff, but we're on it. We're locking in today. We're locking in. We're not going to die anymore. Stream ends when I die. Um, so there's this like little cave area up here, which I thought might make for like a really cute base. We could put like a big glass panel here. And this could be like a, a, a cool base because I really like this little mountain thingy we have going on. Let me hop on down here. Whoop! Whoop! Um, yeah, so I think this mountain structure is pretty cool. And when I look at it, I have like a couple of ideas. Um, god, I kind of want to get even further away so you can see it. Um, uh, maybe up here. Hmm. 
Yeah. So I like this the way this little mountain is set up. Um, I think it would be really cool if we kind of had like a big base that was kind of like a giant hobbit hobbit house burrow kind of thingy. So where that area where we're in just there has like um, that would be like a big window thingy. We can maybe have like a that's a emeralds. That's a donkey. Um, we could have like tubes coming out like kind of like hamster tubey things coming out here and then they go across diagonally and like connect over there and then we could have like more glass here and we can maybe have something hanging down from there like i think this whole mountain could like we could take this mountain and we could make it like a giant hobbit burrow kind of thingy i think that would be really cool and actually i want to put it in fire alpaca and like draw on top of it for a second so you guys know what i'm talking about Yeah. Um, hold on, let me quit the game so I don't get so I don't don't get ganked. <laughs> so this 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 is the like the place. A little bit a little bit of pixie because we this cause it's Minecraft. <laughs> so I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let me get my tablet. Let me let me art this out, gamers. Let me do some artistic talent. So I am thinking, yeah, hollow that guy out. We hollow it out. Um, so I'm thinking like here, this is going to be like a window thingy here. We can have like some kind of tube, glass tube section that like comes out here and it like comes out and then it like connects back there like a hamster tube. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, we could probably have like some kind of maybe like a big entrance thingy here and then like kind of like a cool back and forth staircase that comes from here. Um, we could definitely have like probably like another like glass dome here. Uh, absolutely, there needs to be something on top. I want it to be really wacky is what I want it to be. I want it to be super, 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 super wacky and crazy. And I want to, I really want to go for kind of this, this hamster exhibit kind of feeling. So maybe we can have like another tube that comes out here. And maybe there's a, maybe there's like a tube that comes out from here. And then it goes like underground. Um, so we're probably gonna like kill these villager houses and then flatten that area out and then build like a new place for villagers. So I think this would be cool. This is what I'm after. Um, this here, we could probably like flatten this out and then also have something here. I don't know what, maybe put a dump. I just, I my, my goal is I want this to look super wacky. <laughs> I just wanted it to look super, super crazy and wacky is what I'm after. Um, it's, it's gonna be like really time consuming for sure, but I think it's gonna look good and that's all I really really care about <laughs> Build a dungeon. Yeah, we can we can definitely like that the like one of the big buildings on top could be for villagers Like we have so many things to build So yeah, I think that would be fun uh, However, it's like quite a big undertaking and I think will probably be one of like the biggest builds I've made to date um, but I'm excited for it. So we have to hop back into, uh, Clark, Clark, <laughs> what, what, what do we call Clarkson Horse Tesco? <laughs> Log back in here. Um, yes, yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. So before we can do that, we need to get a little bit more stacked up. I'm thinking like farms and stuff. Um, we also probably want to start putting villagers in a safe place so we can start breaking down the houses but also not be worried by how many villagers we have as we're breaking down houses um yeah actually hold on let's get on that let's get on that um yeah so i think probably this whole base of this mountain area i'm gonna like flatten out and knock down because i want that staircase that's gonna come from here to be pretty impressive um, so I imagine quite a lot of down here will be knocked out. Um, I'm a big fan of having like big farms in Minecraft. Like I'm not a huge fan of automatic farms when it comes to animals and food and stuff. Um, so I think like, the base of the mountain could be like have a lot of farm area. I think that would also be pretty cool. Yeah, how's just rock? How's just so cool? Up creatures. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. Step one is we got to create a bunch of boats. We got to take the boats somewhere. And then we got to make sure the place that we take the boats is really, really safe. 
so that no monsters get our villagers when we are away. So cook some steel. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna need a lot of boats. A lot, a lot, a lot of boats. That should be a lot of boat. That's a fine amount of boat. I only know how to build in Minecraft since I focus on stuff like PvP, parkour, and technical stuff. When I see anyone can build, I'm immediately in awe. I'm kind of the opposite. I think my my PvP skills, they're not awful, but they're not great either. They're just like perfectly mid as hell. Um, parkour, again, I'm not, I'm not the best at it. I enjoy parkour. I'm just not very good at it, which I think is an important distinction. Uh, and again, technical stuff like... I don't know, we're, technical stuff would be redstone, right? Again, like, not my, not my forte. Not my forte. <laughs> uh, where are the villagers? I'm worried, because I've spent, like, a couple of nights around here that they've already been taken out by zombies and stuff. I do see... Is that an ocelot? Hold, whoa, there's a villager up there, too. I'm gonna sleep before it gets, uh, dark, though. I know cats spawn with villagers, but that definitely looked very ocelot -y. It'd be pretty cool if there was an ocelot. Will we make a dungeon for Tachi? Oh, absolutely. I'm gonna build him an entire office. Office dungeon. It's the hit new thing that all the kids are after. Office dungeons. <laughs> Footy is a cat! I am not a cat! No, no, I am a weasel. I am a weasel. <laughs> Technical stuff is game knowledge, not redstone. Redstone masters are wizards. They are entire, yeah. I'm learning commands and technical stuff. Uh, but again, not the best. Tachi, yeah, Tachi can have a private racehorse track in his bachelor pad. I think that would be pretty cool. Isn't an office dungeon editor's room? God, I am so... I'm so excited to never have to use DaVinci Resolve ever again. Oh, uh, how did you guys like the... How did you guys like the Okami Kino video that we put out? Did you guys like it? Have you watched it? Have you watched it on loop? Have you liked it? Have you left a comment? Did you like it so much? Did you like it so, so much? Was it your favorite thing ever? Did you guys like it? I was about to say ferret. Oh, man. You get banned. Banned immediately. The couple was really cute. You guys did great. Oh! Thank you! Thank you! I had never sang before that day. <laughs> um, so all the girls, they really, really wanted to do uh, a cover. Um, I know, like, from the day... First day that I met Estella, she has wanted to do a cover. She's like, hey, this is, like, my, my whole goal of being in a VTuber agency. Um, I really, really want to do a cover. Um, and she'd, like, proposed quite a few. I had also proposed quite a few, but I don't think at that point I'd even told them that I didn't know how to sing or I hadn't sang before um and i probably should have let them know a little bit sooner um because scarlet had also never sung before but she speaks japanese so that's like a buff immediately ariel's a singer scarlet is a skinner skinner uh scarlet is a singer and then renona is like j like j the singer she is the singer she's the v reverie singer um so i was really out of my depth um but we've been suggesting thingies, and oh my god, I forgot we had a, a dungeon here. God, we live in such a cool place. Um, so after a while, uh, we had like a couple of different suggestions, and Renona was like, okay, guys, these songs are really cool, but I think they're a little bit too hard for the beginner song among us. And I was like, yeah, maybe. <laughs> Um, so Renona gave us a bunch of different options that were like more like singer friendly related songs And then we ended on Okami Kinu or Fuki Veda Um, it took a while to decide what we wanted to do because we wanted to have a song that would showcase the girls talents as like professional singers Whilst also not being too difficult for me and Scarlett to keep up with um, and a lot of people have done Okami Kinu before. Uh, Hololive, I think a bunch of different people in Hololive have done it. Hololive EN, Hololive JP, Indonesia, like a bu This is why I can't find the villagers, okay. Uh, like a bunch of people in Hololive have done it, people in, uh, Idol have done it. Um, there's this really cool, like, Korean agency that Ariel shared with us who've done it. Uh, there was a Hong Kong agency that done it. Like, so many people have covered it, and we're like, okay, this is perfect. Like, this is meant to be, right? 
This is what this this is like this is tradition at this point. We just have to do it. <laughs> and it's really fun. I think it was a really good song pick. I think it showcased the the members of us who are really, really good singers, whilst also uh, not being too hard for me to keep up with. So yeah, it was really, really cool. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Uh, gosh, Renona did such a good job. Because I was in charge of mixing. I heard quite a few um, like sneak peeks of it before the other girls did so that I could edit the video the best that I could um, with it. Because the video was finished majorly before the the actual mixing and stuff was finished. Um, which is why some of the timing in a couple of places is a little bit off, but we're, we're not going to pay attention to that. <laughs> Um, but whenever she could, Renona would send me like a work in progress clip of the song. And I was like, oh, I sound so bad. I sound so bad. I sound, oh God, please. I sound so bad. I sound so bad. Um, and then I got the finished, oh, I got the finished mix and it was beautiful. I didn't know I could sound that good. And we all, and we all sounded so good together as a team as well. Are you kidding? Yeah, Renona is an absolute god for putting that together. It's so good. <laughs> It's so, 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 so good. Okay, you, um... Yeah, I, I trust in you to not fall. I just don't trust in you to go the direction that I want you to go in. You guys <laughs> expect more coverage soon? Yes, actually. I think all of us are, are pretty much agreed that we do want to do another cover, but we haven't have gotten as far as like figuring out um, exactly what we want to do just yet. I, there's a very specific song that I want to sing for my one year anniversary. Um, but that is a year away and I think I would like to do vocal classes or something before I get to that point because I'm the kind of person that's like... I don't know, if it's not perfect, like what's the point? What's the point? So if I were to do a cover for my one year anniversary, I, I would want it to be like the best thing that I ever do. So... I would I would want to go to like a like a vocal teacher before I put that out. That's such a huge mood. Yeah, I like I want it to be good, you know? If I'm gonna wait a year to do it, if I'm gonna put all of my budget towards it, if I'm gonna commission art and I'm gonna get a video and I wanna have like merch to go along with it, if I'm gonna do all that, the the, the cover has to be good. Like it, it has to be a good song. It has to be a good cover. So there's a lot that I wanna do in preparation before then. Um, but I want to do it. I, I've known that I've wanted to do this for a really, really long time. I know exactly what the song is. I don't know if I want to tell you guys yet. I don't know if I want to tell you guys yet. I don't know. I don't think I will tell you guys because I want to have, like, really specific art to go with it. And I want to have, like, a specific outfit to go with it. And I don't want... I don't want to spoil that. I think. I think... Yeah. I think I'll definitely hint in it. I'll, I'll definitely, like tell you guys when things are like in the process of happening but i don't want to spoil anything too soon do i live i live if i go off on a boat right oh i just live i just live that's crazy oh my god i didn't know that i just live this is so good okay why have i only found two villagers in this entire town why what is that what's the reason for that <laughs> what is the reason what is the meaning of this? I am sure there were more up here. There's iron there, so I want to go there anyway. I think I saw, like, a cat up there somewhere, so I do want to go check it out. Oh my god, Volvixie! Hi, Volvixie! Hi, 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 hi. Oh my gosh, hi. Oh my gosh, my big sister. Little sister? I don't know. Wait, Volvixie, are you my big sister or my little sister? I don't, I don't... <laughs> I don't know which one of us came out first. I think you're my big sister, I think. I think you, you, you've you been tweeting to me on Twitter for a while, but I, I think your reference only got revealed. I don't know. Are you my big sister or not? I don't know. <laughs> You're my sister. Anyway, it was really, really cool getting to meet all of the Nami Shiron siblings uh, last night. That was so cool. I didn't say too much because I was really, really nervous. Um, but I, I'm really glad that you guys invited me in there. That's so cool. I'm having so much fun. We might be twins. Okay, you know what? I'll take it. I take twins. I take twins. I'll absolutely take twins with you, girl. Twinning! We need to do like a Nami fam collab. I think that'd be really cool. They already went into hiding. Damn it, they're smart. They know. Uh, okay, you. I would like you. Please, I'm pure. I meant to say poor, but it came off with an accent. I'm poor. I died and I lost all my stuff. Oh, more. Let's go. 
Um, anything in here that is interesting? Yeah, I really like the way this place is set out. Um, and because it's kind of hollow back here, I could just kind of put like a roof on top of here and just make this an entire enclosed space. I think that would be pretty cool. Cause I think this is actually relatively narrow, like the actual mountain itself. Do you have any chance? I love the oh, logo. Oh, I love the two for one special. Oh my God. Why have one when you could have two? I love two for one special. I love when I play like video games or otomes and watch animes and there are twins. I love, oh. I love it. 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 Ah! I love it. Okay, how do I get to where that guy was? How do I get there? How do I go to you? He was here, but like down a little bit, right? Like there? I think here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, here, here. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> am I? What? <laughs> here. No. Where am I? What? Oh, it's there. It's a lot low. <gasps> I could have boated. I could have boated. I was in shook. I could have boated that. Oh, I'm so mad. That would have been. S <gasps> oh, I, oh, I could have. I could have boated. I could have boated that. That's, that's, that I'm molding. I could have boated that and everyone would have watched me boat it and they would have been like, oh my God, furry, fern tail, you're so cool. Oh my God, you're so... <sighs> I could have boated it. I just could have. I simply just could have done that. I, why does my armor, my armor took no damage. That's awesome. We saw nothing, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I need it. How do I get to you? It's like it's not even that far up. Uh... Referencing full Moko affects the Red Bull. Listen, I haven't had a Red Bull today, okay? I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, I know it's my branding, but I haven't actually had a Red Bull today. Um, I was debating whether or not I should before the stream, but I figured, nah. Because I slept. Oh, there's so many up here. This is where you're all hanging out. What the hell? Hi. Oh, they're not cats. They're they're, they're not ocelots. They're just yellow. Why are you guys making out over here? Stop it. Yeah, get in there. You need to get your buddy in here too. Why are you stuck in the wall? What are you doing? What? Oh, they like to go up, don't they? I like going upwards. Come on, it's getting dark. You gotta get in the boat, buddy. Get in the boat. Get in it. It's getting dark. I'm not gonna save you from zombies. Thank you, okay. So that is four, four zombies, four villagers. That's four villagers. I think that's pretty good for like a, a starting villager colony. So I wanna move them all into one place, box them in, and then I can start like pulling down some of the houses from around here. And then we don't have to worry about, um, like, making sure that they're safe. No, Red Bull, I know I should have. No, I shouldn't have. Uh, yeah, I, I stayed in bed for a really long time today. Because it was like... So, <laughs> I've been getting out of uh, bed really early, like, the last couple of days. Like, I, I wake up and then I get to the grind. Because the Fuki Veda video, I, or the Ocha Maikinu video, I really wanted to get it done in time. And I didn't get that video done until, like, probably an hour before the quiz show started. So it was, like, a super last-minute thing. Um, so I've been working on that for a really, really, really long time. Um, so it, now that I don't have to do that anymore, it's, it's kind of a relief to me because it's like, okay... When I end stream, I can just chillax. I can just relax a little bit. Cause like my man I had a meeting with my manager yesterday and my manager was like, okay, so do you have, do you have like your schedule for next week planned? And I'm like, no. And he was like, okay, that's okay. Do you like have any idea when you want to stream next week? And I'm like, no. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I've just been, I've just, my, I've been so fluky red pilled that I haven't thought of anything else. <laughs> Okay, how did I get up to those guys? I, yeah, yeah, I went this way, didn't I? Hold on. Yeah, so now I can actually chill out. 
I haven't played League in so long because I've been working on Figuretta, but I think that's maybe actually for the best. <laughs> I, I think maybe, maybe that is a good thing and I should let myself be free whilst I am. Oh, you have a... I, I can't... I can't just separate a guy from his cat. I can't just do that. Ale comes here. Yeah, I kind of want to play tonight because I haven't played in so long. But also, like, I want to... I'm scared if I do it, I'll get back into it, and then I won't do anything else. <laughs> yeah, not playing League is a bonus, exactly. I'm like, I'm not sure if I actually want to get back into it. I'm on the fence. I found out how many- Oh my god, Tiny, you play League? Tiny. Tiny. Okay, I- we need to get rid of this cat. Ti- No, I'm sorry! Tiny, do you want to play League with me tonight? <laughs> You're gonna play League with me later? <laughs> maybe, maybe when I get memberships, we can play League of Legends and we can all mold at how much that game sucks. I, so I, I think I went a little bit into detail of my League, League playery. Only a little bit. Um, so I play Nefiri. She's like my main, the main one that I play. Uh, however, I have been very embarrassingly, uh, well, I didn't know this was supposed to be embarrassing. Uh, but apparently this is supposed to be embarrassing. Um, I've been playing a lot of Yumi lately. Ah! No! Ah! That, see, that's what, that's what happens when people find out I play Yumi. That's what people do to me when they find out I'm a Yumi player. They hate me. People just hate me. <laughs> um, so, I've been playing... I, I have been playing uh, Nefiri. I really love Nefiri. I actually bought a Nefiri skin. Um, I think she's really funny. I have a lot of memes of Nefiri saved on my phone. Um, however, I always lose. When I play Nefiri, I lose. Um, I also really like playing Gnar. I think Gnar is really funny and he really speaks to me as a character. Um, I've also tried to play Lilia, but I'm struggling... I'm struggling to find out or like figure out how jungling like helps the team. Cause when I play Lilia, I just jungle the whole game and I don't help anyone and I feel like I'm useless at it. Um, so get in there, get in here. Um, so I'm struggling with Lilia. I want to like practice Lilia more. I've also tried playing Aurelian Sol uh, because I like maxing out hyper beam and just holding down hyper beam the entire game. I think that's awesome. Um, however, so those those are my favorite characters. However, whenever I play Yumi, I win. So I think I'm developing like a dopamine connection with Yumi where I'm starting to like her a lot, but only because when I play her, I win. So I don't think I actually like Yumi. I just think I like the dopamine shots that I get from winning when I play as Yumi because I don't have to do anything. I just juice people and then they win the game. It's perfect. It's perfect. I, I, li I literally said in my debut, I love games that are easy. <laughs> I like playing support. Yeah, Yumi, Yumi's good. I think because I'm like very new to the game as well. Um, that I don't really know what is going on a lot of the time. And I feel bad that I let people down because I don't really know what's happening. So when I play Yumi, I, I'm not like, I'm not shot calling. I'm not like, I'm not defending anything in particular i am just like assisting the people who are so if anything goes wrong it, nothing is my fault it is the fault of the people around me <laughs> um, i do want to get i do want to get gooder at the game though i like being i like i like winning <laughs> um yeah nar nar is my nar was the first one that i played um and i don't know his character is so funny to me he's just a funky little guy i love him um but I don't think I'm using Gnar to his full potential. I haven't like, I haven't like figured out how to use his bounce thingy properly yet. All I know, all I know is boomerang and go big. That's, that's all I know. <laughs> yeah, when I first started playing League, um, I played it for several hours a day. I, I've like literally only started playing as of within like the last two months maybe. Um, and the first couple of nights I started playing, I was going to bed, and when I would close my eyes, I would see the minions, like, walking around on the, the path, and I would see, like, the trajectory of Nars, um, uh, of his, like, boomerang, I would, like, see it in my mind's eye. 
I, <laughs> I would like play League in my mind. I'd be in the car and I like, I'd be really bored and I'd close my eyes and I'd just play League with my eyes closed. <laughs> The, the brain rot is real. The brain rot is so real. Um, but yeah. So I like Yumi because I win, but... Um, I'm aware that there is, like, a lot of, um... Uh, there's, like, a lot of jokes and, I guess, a lot of negativity, I think, connected to people playing Yumi. Um, so I only play Yumi if people, like are okay with me doing that, because sometimes I'll select it and then people will like shout at me. <laughs> so, I, I only do it if if I, if I people let me, because people get really angry at me if I do. <laughs> but I just like winning! I like to win! I like to win. Yeah, I won't, I won't be streaming League, because uh, I, I see people like, oh my god, League talk. I won't be streaming League of Legends, um, but I think Definitely, if someone invites me to play League on their channel, I'll absolutely take it. Um, and then maybe members streams League, possibly. The only reason I don't want to stream League is it is the kind of game that I really have to concentrate on. Um, and I think I said before, I don't say anything when I concentrate. Like, I lock in and I lock in hard. Sometimes when I'm playing League in a voice call with the Guardians, they forget that I'm in the call because I'm just so quiet playing League and I'm focusing so hard. <laughs> so yeah, if, they, if like someone invites me to a League club, I'll definitely, I'll take it, but I probably won't be streaming it myself. I'm locked in. Yeah, I'm so locked in. You spent 900 quid on League. Oh, tiny, tiny, no, tiny. Oh, I think, man, man. I thought I was bad because I spent like 30 quid. That's, wow, that's so much money. Think of like, think of all of the super chats you could have sent me with that, dude. <laughs> 2.3 hours. I'm going crazy, I'm gonna throw up, I'm going crazy. This could also be a really... I think this is... Wait, let me check my sketch. Is this where I wanted my main entrance to be? No, I wanted my main entrance to be that thing. Okay, this is gonna be like the main entrance. Okay. I don't think I need to worry about main entrances just yet. I want to terraform and probably make like a base on the other side of this and then fill in the roof. I want to like fill in the roof. I think that'd be a good idea. Uh, yeah, I spent 30 quid on League. Uh, what did I buy? I bought the Nefiri skin because I love Nefiri. I love Nefiri so much. I get really annoyed when I'm playing a game and someone else is playing Nefiri because it's like, dude, that's my guy. That's my girl. Why are you playing her? Only I'm allowed to play her. Um, so I got a full price of the Fury skin because I'm a loser. Um, and then I got the Vi Primal Huntress, I think. Pri Vi Stealth Hunter, Wilderness Hunter, something like that. Like, it's like a really cool skin where she's got, like, she, she's got, like, big cat claws and she looks really cool. Um, I got that because I thought it was really attractive. And then... You know that store that pops up every now and then and it has like rare discount skins and stuff that you can't get anywhere else? Uh, there was like Snow Day Gnar and it was really cheap. So I got that because it was Gnar and it turns his like monster form into a husky and it's really cute. <laughs> She's out of playing a I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's like, it's like social smoking guys. Okay. I don't actually enjoy it. I just like hanging out with my friends. Okay. <laughs> I'm not, I don't actually enjoy it. I like, I, um, I like it a little bit. I like the memes that people make of the characters. I think they're funny. Okay, where are we gonna put all these dudes? Should we just put them? Uh, can I just shove them in here? Temporarily? Mm, they won't despawn certain boats. I do want to put them. I do want to put them in a place that has walls because I'm worried about skeletons. Um, I we're gonna just. We are just gonna destroy this whole area. So I think this house is probably better for the villager holding cell. <laughs> I don't want to make like um a trading hall just yet. Um, but I do want to make I, just a place that I can keep them. <laughs> just I just want a place that I can keep them safe, like collectibles. If you want to play Lee, yeah, uh, Tiny, I'll I'll send you my username. <laughs> uh, my username is just Foodie for Entail. I think anyone can add me. Damn it, hold on, they're stuck. Uh, but I might not accept everyone because I'm scared if people send me mean messages. <laughs> 
Must yeah, go shower, you sweaty, you sweaty, sweaty gamer. You probably play on no, I don't. I predicted this was gonna happen, so I made a North America account. I predicted this would happen. I knew this was gonna happen. Oh. This is my crime of being European. I have to make NA accounts. Um, I haven't made a Valorant account yet, though. Um, I gotta get on that, because I want to play with Ariel. Because I used to play Valorant... Va 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 va. <laughs> I used to play Valorant semi-recently, like two years ago. Um, but I haven't played it in a hot second. Um, so I would like to do that, to play with Ariel. Um, I think Stella said that she played, uh, that she would play Valorant with us as well. I never spend money on Valorant. Um, Valorant, I like to play Sky because she is an animal person and I am an animal person and she has animals and I like to play as like the cool dog that she has and run around. <laughs> I'm such a severe league addict that I have an account for every region. Please get well soon. There's help. There's help available. No burps. No burps. Help is out there. And you, yes, I do like to blind everyone with birds. It's so much fun. It is so much fun. Again, Valorant, I only like to play with people who are good at the game because I am bad at the game. And if I don't win, I get sad. Uh... Is it because you're a literal dog person? I am a dog person. Um, Only because I'm allergic to cats. I think if... I was not allergic to cats, I would have been a huge cat person. With the way that I was obsessed with warrior cats and still are obsessed with warrior cats. Um, yeah, if I wasn't allergic to cats, I think I would have absolutely been a cat person. Like, like, God, not even close. Not even close. Oh, you know what? That works, actually. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna block them in here, I think. Hello guys, welcome to your new permanent home. Hope you enjoy the riverside view that just ends right here. Why did, why did they just put the bridge there? What? <laughs> yeah, everyone's a, yeah, everyone's a winner. Winner winning winning is not big importance. You are correct. You are correct. But I do like it. <laughs> I do like it. Um, and then I wanna, I'm just gonna have to nudge you guys, cause you're, I can't get in there. Get, get on, get, get on, get! Push, 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 push. I don't, I don't think I'm making a difference. That's fine, you know, you get, because of that, you guys gonna have a bigger enclosure. That's fine. There we go. Eh, I don't want to use cobble. I guess we're going to be mining out that whole area, actually. We're going to have more than enough cobble to go around. Okay, have fun in your new cell. Um, have a, have a dandelion, and then put this here so I remember that it's here. Okay, we have four villagers. Four villagers is good. Um, So we can start tearing everything down now. <laughs> we can start renovating. Yeah, I'm really excited for uh, the base. I think maybe at some further point when we're getting to a stage where we're actually like building, building for real, um, I might make like a proper concept art sketch for what the base is gonna look like. Cause I think that would be like a really fun piece of added detail to include. And you guys could like help me design it. Can the villagers see the dandelion? They can like feel it in their hearts, surely. Sometimes you don't need to see the dandelion. You just have to feel it and know that it's there in your heart. Interrogation chamber. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's a dungeon I locked you guys into my debut. Brie never takes L. She doesn't even know that's like L is like my least favorite letter. I've never had an L in my life. Whenever I get whenever I get letter spaghettios the, whenever I get like the spaghetti that's shaped like letters, I never get the letter L because I've never taken an L in my life. Ooh. 
Cope, shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. Don't speak to me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I think I'll do a stream where we design, like, what the base is gonna look like properly. With colors. Oh my god, we can, like, pick out a block palette. It will be so much fun. And everyone go, wow, Fiddy, you're so good at this. There's an L in your name. No, there's not. Shut up. Shut up, Jimmy McGee. Shut up. <laughs> the only- Whoa. Oh, glass. The only Jimmy I care about is Mr. Beast. Okay. I don't care. I don't care. I don't even care about this. It's free for entail. Yeah, the L in my name is actually a capital I. Fun fact that is, I think that is in fact actually how my league name is spelled because I made a EU account called Free for Entail. Um, and then it was, it was not North America, so I had to change it, but the username was already taken. So I believe my actual, my Riot ID is Free for Entail, but with a capital I instead of an L. I have to double check. I probably should have taken this down from the top, actually, instead of the bottom, because now I'm going to not be able to reach the top. <laughs> What's your EW, EUW? I have no idea. I don't know. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to have to send me like a step-by-step -step process of how to find the information that you need, and, and then I can just send it to you. <laughs> I don't, I know nothing. I know nothing. All I know is Yumi Q, Yumi E, Yumi E, Yumi E, Yumi Q, Yumi E, Yumi E. That's all I know. Let me be an e-girl on the internet for free, okay? Buy me skins. Oh my god, guys, if we play Lily, you guys buy me skins. That'd be so cool. Can I, you guys buy me Heartseeker Yumi? Because I don't know how to buy that one. It's not in the store, otherwise I would have gotten it. I think it's like a limited edition thingy. I don't know if limited edition means that it's like never coming back. Or if it's like seasonal, maybe? I don't know. Mm, now the top floor is gonna. F yeah, I should have. Hmm. I should have thought this through. Can I. Can I MLG it? Can I float to bed? No, I can't. Ugh. Oh, furry! What do you mean for a little thought experiment? Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not good at thinking. <laughs> That's like my- no, no, sorry, I'm so good at thinking. I'm so very awesome at thinking, actually. Yes, I would be up for a thought experiment. Just make sure that if it sucks, I will ban you. Valentine's exclusive? Are you kidding? No, Valentine's has just been. I didn't know this. I wasn't playing at Valentine's Day. Damn it. Damn it. I hate it here. I'm gonna wait a whole year. So pasta is made from dough consisting mainly of water and flour. So pasta is bread. Do you agree? No, I don't agree because pasta is pasta. Damn it. Oh, yay. That is, that is my deduction. That is my deduction. <laughs> you can get it on a randomizer chest, which is very rare. That's like, I would have to spend money to do the randomizer chest thingy, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't want to spend money. I don't want to spend money. I want to spend money for cool business things, like background art. I I contact a background artist that I found. Um, I was telling you guys how... Oops. Because uh, I was telling you guys how I really want, like, custom background art for the stream. Um, but it's really expensive. Uh, I found another artist that I really liked. Um, but they sent me a quote back today, and it was like... Uh, a thousand a hundred dollars, I think. And I was like, okay, do you take, do you take payment plans? And I'm like, oh, no, we don't really take payment plans, but, uh, we can, we can, we can discuss. And I was like, man, man. So I was like, okay, I don't, I don't make that much money right now. Can you put me on a wait list for like a couple of months? And then, and then when I have a lot of money, I'll come back and I'll buy a background. <laughs> it's pretty pricey. I mean, it's a really good background. It's like... So, it's gonna have a couple of different versions for, like, nighttime, daytime, dusk and dawn. And it's gonna have, like, animation and stuff for it. So, it's gonna have, like, business associates running around. Like, I have a whole sketch of it. I, I know what I want it to look like. Um, which is why I'm, like, very picky about who I want to do it. Um, it is just gonna take so much money. <laughs> it's gonna take so much money! Oh my god. It's so worth it, though. It's so worth it. 
I don't have ultimate skin the very first time I open a chest. I'm jealous. Oh my god, Renata! Ow! Ow, 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 ow! Hello, Renata! How are you today? How are you, my beautiful little dog creature? How are you? I want to make a shovel. I want to make a shovel in Renona's honor. That is what I'd like to do. And I know exactly how I'm going to do it. Oh, yeah. Are you ready for this, Renona? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When I get a bunch of iron, I'm going to I'm gonna nickname this Renona. The Renona Shovel. <laughs> I'm going to call my shovel Renona. How are you, Rin? How did you sleep? I'm going to sleep. I'm going to assume that you didn't sleep amazing. <laughs> but I hope you slept okay. <laughs> Did she just call me a dog creature? I mean, am I incorrect? Would you like me to call you a capybara? I I fail to see where the where the issue here is. I'm like, am I wrong? Did I mess up? I don't think I did. <laughs> yeah, hi you Rin. Hi you Riri. How's my baby? Thank you so much for mixing Okami Kino for us. So if you guys uh, are not aware. For the cover that we put out yesterday, which again, by the way, you should definitely go check it out on the V Every channel. Um, I edited the video, and Renona is the person the person who mixed and mastered it. And Rin, I was telling <laughs> I was telling everyone earlier about how you had shared me like a couple like work in progress versions of the the mix when you were still working on it, so I could try and like time the video a little bit better. Um, and I was telling about how bad I sounded when you first sent me it. Like, the really, really rough where you hadn't done anything. You just, like, stitched everyone together. And then I heard the final, and it was so good. What the hell? It was so professional. Like, we, we sound so... Oh, my God. Like, if you had shown me that video and asked me, like, okay, how much did they pay to commission someone to do this? I would have said, like, 10,000 billion dollars. It is crazy. You're insane. Um... Please, please do that again. <laughs> Let's sing a lot together soon, please. I love you. I had so much fun. I am still really interested in doing that cover idea that I sent you like two months ago. Uh, but I was telling chat that I think I might look into seeing if I can get like a vocal coach or something before the next time I do a cover song. <laughs> I haven't slept yet. I'm going to sleep soon, but I saw your stream. Oh, no. Okay, Rin, you gotta go. You gotta go, Betty Buys. You gotta go, Nighty Nighty, Rinny Rinny. You gotta go, Super Ruby. Go, go, Yibi, Yibi, DB, Horse Plinko. You gotta go, Betty Buys. Ever say goodnight, Renona. Ever say goodnight. We're banishing a grown ass woman to go to bed. <laughs> We're making her go to sleep. Um, do I want this little area up here is the question. Do I want this around? I don't want the... I don't want the... I don't want the church. Church is gonna go and... Yeah, I think I'd rather have this section be empty and then have like a better access. Because I want you to be able to see how cool this looks from far away. Yeah, so I think I want to get rid of this section as well. Which means we need to get rid of this. And I'm actually going to start at the top this time like a smart person. I love you! Yay, thank you! I'm taking it back, damn it. I hate it here. <laughs> I'm going to die, you're in. I hope you had a good day today. We'll see you tomorrow. I love you. Goodbye. <laughs> She's so cute. I love her. I love that she's orange. It's such a good color. <laughs> I think that's one of the first conversation topics me and Renata actually had when we first met each other. We were talking about how much we love the color orange. <laughs> you know, we just, we just, we just get along like that, you know? It was a, a match made in heaven. By her, because she is a demi-dog. Yeah! Damn it. <laughs> oh my god, hi, oh my god, hi, amaze. Hi. Hello. We're mine crafting. We're crafting the mines. We sure are. And I am blabbering. I'm yapping. What have we yapped about today? Uh, we have yapped about League of Legends. We have yapped about Minecraft. I yapped about my mom. Uh, we yapped about the cover video. That's about it. Oh, like, re like DaVinci Resolve. So, I have Adobe now. Or at least I have, like... I have it. I just haven't fully downloaded it yet. Because I don't have the mental energy for that. Um, but I have Adobe, so I'm really excited to learn Adobe. Um, I'm kind of nervous because I'm kind of the person who, um, 
if there's something that I know how to do, I don't like having to relearn how to do it. And like, I know how to use the Vinky, so I'm not excited to relearn how to use the Vinky from scratch or like how to use Adobe from scratch, but I think it's gonna be really worth it. Um, ah, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited because I think I think what I've been able to do on DaVinci is really, really impressive if I'm allowed to, to boast like that. Um, I think what I was able to do on DaVinci is really impressive. Um, so I'm excited to see what I can do on Adobe, especially after watching Nova video editing. Uh, I, th I think I mentioned the other day, maybe it's like I watched Nova do something in Adobe that would have taken me like third, like an hour and a half to do in DaVinci, but it did her, it, she did in like 30 seconds. It was crazy. So yeah, I'm excited to learn because I think I'll be able to make like cooler stuff because I do like video editing. Um, which is why like whenever I have like a video that I want to post on Twitter, I don't just post the video. I have to like, I have to, I have to tweak it. I have to, you know, I have to be extra. Um, so I think having Adobe as a program, I'll be able to make cooler stuff, especially because I have big ideas. <laughs> ah! Can you talk about your editing background? I'm interested. That is the funny part is I don't have an editing background whatsoever. Like I, this is like one of my first times ever really video editing a huge amount. Um, like, so well, nah, not entirely. Um, so uh, I have like edited like clip compilations in the past, but the extent of like editing uh, clip compilations is like, Finding the content that you want to make a compilation out of, cutting it all down. Um, usually like when I'm doing clip compilations, I don't like to just put a clip and then move on to the next thing. I like to cut up clips into like two, three parts and then have it be like a reoccurring gag that appears in the video. Um, and then there's like a lot of like picking out the right kind of music and timing the music to what happens in the clip. So if there's like a like a beat drop, the same thing happens in the clips. Um, so that was like, that was like one of my first real um, like experiences with editing. I've made like a couple of like let's play videos in the past, but nothing incredible, very amateurish. It's just like, hi, here's me playing Minecraft uh, for like three hours worth of footage. And then I cut it down into 20 minutes of like the funniest parts. Um, I done that. I am a Minecraft Let's Player, yes. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of like as far as my video editing experience goes. Like I'm super, super new to all this stuff, which is why I was using DaVinci, because I just Googled like best free online uh, video editing program and I got stuck with DaVinci. Uh, when I was younger, I did like to make like stop motion videos with like Littlest Pet Shop and like Pokemon figurines. Um, I would like make uh, like, I would make makeshift green screens by like coloring a piece of paper green with a marker and then putting it into like Windows Movie Maker um, and then like having like my figurines like move around in front of it, but it never really worked. So I just made a lot of videos of like my hands moving or, like the toys around and then making voices for them. I had like, I had a bunch of Lolo's pet shops and I had a lot of Pokemon figurines and I had like a lot of animal figurines just like like really realistic small plastic animal figurines of like wolves and cats and stuff and I'd make them do like warrior cat role plays. Um, and then I did some stop motion. I did like a couple of stop motion videos in college. And I think that is literally it. Sometimes I take a video of my dog and I put like funny music on the video of my dog, but that is it. <laughs> like I have not really much of a big background. I think my little siblings who are on TikTok 24 seven have like a bigger video editing background than I do. Um, I'm still learning, which is why I'm kind of impressed with everything that I've learned in such a short amount of time. Um, like, um, yes. Um, like the Who's That Guardian clip on Twitter, I made that, uh, I made the Okami Kino video, I, um, did some lore, I made, like, the, the lore video for Estella's debut, she did all of the artwork, uh, but I, like, edited everything together with music and animations and all that kind of stuff, um, I did some video editing for Scarlet's lore video, I did, like, the... No, I did like a very minor amount of stuff for Scarlet. Actually, she did a lot and I wanna make sure she gets the credit for that. Um, there's like a scene where she is on the, um, like 
Skyrim, Skyrim carriage and like the background is moving and it looks like a horse is dragging it around. I did that. Uh, but very, very minor. She did the rest of the video because I thought that's all she was going to make. Uh, and then she came out with like the video with the jail cell bars and the stars and going through the dungeon. I didn't see that until debut. I was super, super, super impressed. That was super cool. Super talented. Thank you. Thank you. I have many talents. Please always be impressed by me. There goes the church. Where will we worship now? I'll make a new place of worship for business associates exclusively. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I don't really have much of a background whatsoever, um, but I am growing one, and I think I'm enjoying it. I don't know if I've done this for long enough to really be able to give a solid answer of, like, how much I enjoy it, because I'm like, I'm in that stage when you're really new to something that everything about it is pretty exciting. So I don't know if I'm going to con continue to enjoy it in a couple of months when the novelty wears off, but I really like it. Um, I think Nova, Nova Senpai is a really big inspiration right now because a lot of like her music cover videos that she has edited herself, uh, they're incredible. And just like being in a Discord call and watching her work on stuff and be like, damn, girl, you did that yourself. What the hell? It's awesome. It's very impressive to me. Uh, so I want to be like Nova Senpai, but don't tell her because whenever I compliment her, she goes, no, no, no. So don't tell her, don't tell her, don't tell her. Uh, I need an axe. I'm uh, also probably gonna need a new pick soon. Which means I need to go get more iron. Which means I'm probably gonna die. Uh, uh, uh. Telling her I don't. <laughs> Nova is really impressive. She is. My mom was telling me when she was watching all the Guardians debuts, she also checked out Salmon and uh, Nova as well. And she was saying like, oh my god, Yu-Gi-Oh! She's just like you with Pokemon cards. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she seemed to really like Nova. Uh, she told me that she thinks the cutest voice that anyone has out of all of us is Estella, which was really funny. I was expecting that. Because I think Ariel's voice is like the cutest thing I've ever heard. So when she said that she thought Estella had the cutest voice, I was like, damn, mom, left field, hello? I have to DM Asala later and tell her because she said a couple of other things that I won't say uh, just for the sake of like the privacy of the girls and stuff but she made a lot of really funny jokes uh, so I need to like fill everyone in later about what she said because she's unhinged. Did she check out the graduated talent? Uh, I don't believe so. She only checked out who was like linked on my YouTube page right now. Uh, and I had like Nova and Salmon linked. Uh, but she was aware, she is aware of the graduated talents. Uh, Cause I, I talked to my mom about everything. <laughs> so I'd let her know. Um, yeah, she she did like the graduated talents, but I don't think she um, I don't I, I don't think she checked out their channels when she was checking out uh, our stuff. Can we get a mom stream? Um, I have a YouTube video planned that she is going to make a cameo in and she's very, very excited for it and she has gone to design her own character for it. Uh, but that was like two months ago, so I don't know if she remembers that she is supposed to be doing that because uh, I'm still working on some of the other things for the video. Um, so I don't know if we're going to have a mom stream. I would definitely like to one day, but I don't know how soon. Uh, but she's definitely going to be like in a YouTube video because... The YouTube video is kind of gonna be about her. I'm, I'm gonna shut up because I'm, I'm gonna yap and I'm gonna spoil everything. <laughs> I want I want things to be a surprise for you guys. Please be very impressed and very surprised. And and yes, please be impressed by us. <laughs> Mama Hive. It's cool that she's into VTubing. She's like never really into much like internet stuff. Um, but because I yap at her all the time, she absorbs all of my knowledge via osmosis. Os osmosis. Um, I have any iron. I'm gonna go kill the iron golem and probably get my ass whooped in the process. Always save everything so you become rich and famous. You can do documentaries on myself. I mean, that's kind of the cool thing about the internet is everything is kind of kept in a permanent record. Gen 3 Mama Ferntail? Man. I don't know. I don't know if I would trust her. She's going to beg me to make a fan club of her. Please don't kill me. Stupid loser, let's go. Five! Oh my god. 
Let's go. Drag my mom down the feet of a rabbit hole. I don't put like a an Arisa Ravencroft. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's Pakora who did like an actual like a full debut for her mom in April Fools. I'll do like um we'll make her a debut stream. <laughs> She, she's like, she likes art and stuff. So I think she would have fun, like designing a character and stuff like that. Uh, I'm gonna need more storage soon. I need more storage now. Like this. Um, I shouldn't take that out of here. Uh, yeah, let's go mining. Cause I am low on iron. Um, I don't think that there's gonna be another iron golem. <laughs> Let's be like a lot, a lot, a lot more careful this time also. <laughs> Mom debut trend is a great one. It is, it is really, really cool. Um, it is funny, I think, watching these and figuring out, ooh, because a lot of, to, to be a VTuber of like mild success, you, you need to, you need to be funny. People need to like you. Um, and, because of that, a lot of the really big VTubers have just amazing personalities. Um, and it's really funny watching content with like their parents or their moms or whatever. And I guess kind of finding out why they're like that and who they got it from. <laughs> I think that's really funny. <laughs> I think it's really cute, especially with uh, Pakora and Narissa. It's like, oh yeah, I get it now. I get it now. But then a couple of times it's like, oh god, I don't see it. How, how... How did you how did you become like this? How are you like this? <laughs> um coal, not iron though. I I'm like tentative of going too deep because I know I am gonna get distracted and I am gonna get lost and I am gonna die. Question on your anime taste. What genre do you prefer? Ooh, god, that is a tough one. Um I don't really know. I think a lot of my favorite animes kind of vary in genre. I'll say for sure I don't like horror anime. I'm not a big horror person. I don't like horror books. I don't like horror anime. I don't like horror games. Um, it's definitely not horror. Magical Girls is good. I do like Magical Girls, um, but I'm not like... I know there's some really dedicated Magical Girl fans out there, and I'm definitely not one of them. I'm just like... I, I appreciate it. Um, mecha anime. I don't know. I think I could be a mecha fan. I could be a mecha fan. I really like Pramar. Pramar is one of my favorite movies. But I don't think it's the mech part of Pramar that does it for me. I don't think it's that that does it for me when it comes to Pramar. Um, but I did also really, really like Gren Lagan. But again, was that because that was Studio Trigger? Um. I. I enjoyed. And please listen to my full statement. I enjoyed Darling in the Franks. I watched Darling in the Franks and I was like, oh my god, this was so good. I love this so much. And then I watched Garen Lagan, and I realized that Darling in the Franks was ass. I just really liked the mechs. <laughs> so that is my statement. I thought it was cool, but I only liked the mechs. I didn't like anything else about it. Please do not label. Ooh, please do not label me a Darling in the Franks enjoyer. Um, I don't know. Lot anime that has a lot of action, I guess, is good for me in my attention span. I want these sunflowers. Um, I don't know. What what genre would like what genre would Kill the Kill and like Pokemon and Wolf's Rain and stuff fall under? What what would that fall under? Like what genre is that? Is that is that just action? Do we just call that action? Cause oh uh, iron. Cause I, I I like those. Ooh nice. Okay, a little hole to fall into. Um. Furry shonen. I do like show. You know what? I'm gonna say shonen. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it shonen. Have I watched any of the Gundams? No, I haven't. Um, I am a really 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 big fan of Hoshino Char, however, and she constantly talks about uh the witch from Mercury. So or witch from Mercury, witch from Mer, Mer, Mer witch. It, it's like the it's the it's the more recent uh Gundam that has the ladies in it. 
she talks about that a lot and she's like cosplayed and stuff in it so i'm intrigued in checking that out uh i think that would be really fun oh nuts uh yeah i'd like to check that out but it, i'm very very busy a lot of the time um and because I watch I watch sub anime, but I don't speak Japanese, uh, I have to like fully pay attention when I'm walking watching an anime. Uh, and if I do that, I don't get any of my work done. So it might take me a while before I like next commit to watching an anime from start to finish. <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, I'd, I'd say shonen anime because I really do like Naruto. Uh, I really like uh, Ginga Nagaraboshi Gin, which I think is also shonen anime. I like Pokemon, yeah. I'm gonna say shonen. Uh, I don't think anyone hates shonen. Shonen is like a really good easy bet for everyone. Um. Yeah, yeah. You know what? We're gonna call it shonen anime. <laughs> That's what we're gonna go for. Where was this crater? Hello. Hello. I went towards the cherry trees. Ah, there we go. Okay. Oh, hey, it's Minecraft hours. It is Minecraft hours. It's also nighttime hours. I'm scared. Cheats on Star Lord slash game mode created. They can't hear me because my mic's muted. 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 Where's the crater? Where is it? That's so cool, we clutched that. It's so cool how we clutched that right now. That was so cool how we clutched it. It was so awesome and cool how we clutched that. That was awesome. Did you guys see that? Did you guys did you guys clip how awesome that was? That was so cool how we clipped it. That was awesome. That was like, hey guys, yeah. Yeah, oh, you guys got some like interference? That's weird. I don't know why that would have happened. I don't know, that's not a that's not a me issue, that's a you issue. <laughs> Welcome back. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, um... So I'm just here for iron. I don't want to spend, like, a lot of... Time in mines today. I just want to get my iron so I can just keep... Yeah, so I can keep digging without having to worry about running out of pickaxes. <laughs> uh, asking because I'm curious. Have you ever watched any of those cringe Minecraft YouTubers? I love cringe Minecraft YouTubers. Uh, I was a really, really big Yogscast fan when I was a kid. Um, I actually... Hold on. Can you hear this? Can you hear this? I actually have a thing of Jaffa Cakes right there. I watched ja um, I watched Yogg's Cast so often when I was a little kid that I think I have, like, developed a mild addiction to Jaffa Cakes, which is really funny. Um, my family members buy me Jaffa Cakes, like, every birthday. Because I love Jaffa Cakes. Uh, the title of the stream is Yogg's Cast. Yeah! Um... This stream and my last stream, both of the titles were Yogg's Cast references. This is the Diggy Diggy Hole song, and then Surviving the First Night was the first, uh, was the name of their first Minecraft video that they put out. Uh, yeah, I'm a huge Yogg's Cast girl. <laughs> like, a lot of my friends in school were, like, really into, like, Sky Does Minecraft, and Ant Venom, and Captain Sparkles, and Stampy Long Nose. But I was really into Yogg's Cast. I was really into like the Jaffa Cake Factory Tech It series. Um, I was really into the Shadow of Israfail series. I thought Shadow of Israfail was real. 
Um, and I would have dreams about uh, Israfail coming into my Minecraft world, and I would cry, and my mom would be like, what's wrong? And I was like, Shadow of Israfail's gonna come into my Minecraft world, and he's gonna blow up my diamond house that I made on creative mode. So I would make, I would make like, towns on Minecraft, and then I would make giant walls around them so that Israfail couldn't get me. Uh, <laughs> I've now played, I've now played Minecraft Story Mode. Um, I think I've maybe, I think I maybe watched... Oh god, was it maybe Technoblade? I think I watched Technoblade play through um, Minecraft Story Mode, but I haven't myself personally. I grew up with Yogg's cast, they're so good. They're like definitely a huge uh, like content creator inspo for me for sure. Um, they were. It was also really cool watching them growing up because a lot of the early internet and internet that is still out there today is very like American centric. Um, which is why I have this accent, because I grew up in the internet. Um, but Yogg's cast were like the only creators that were like really popular back then that were British. Um, so it, it was nice, I guess, uh, having some British role models, I suppose. <laughs> um, I did say that I didn't want to go too far in the caves, but I am a deep slate. If I could find diamonds, that'd be pretty poggers. Actually, hold on. I need to be a smart lady. I need to put on my subtitles. Um, so I believe my... I think the subtitles are hidden behind me, so I don't think it'll disrupt anything for you guys. But it's just so that if I'm, like, talking a lot, um, and, like, masking out... Oh! Slime Chunk! Let's go! Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah, so I'll put it behind myself just because when I'm talking, uh, because my voice is louder than the game, um, I struggle to hear the game, like, over myself. So I put the subtitles on, so if there's, like, a creeper coming up behind me, I can see, like, the subtitles for it. Slime Chunk Hive, hold on, let me make sure I'm safe in here, let me... Let me take a screenshot of my coordinates, and put this in my little sneaky Discord server... Who is messaging me? Oh my god, it's Stella. I'm so sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, who's messaging? It's Stella. I'm sorry. Stella, I love you. Oh my god, hi, Aku. Hi, Aku. Aku, Aku, I have a question. Why are you in need? I know you work a full time job. What? I need an explanation here, okay? I am a branding person. This upsets me. Explain it. Explain it. Bored underground. Circled from a teat of stone. Da, 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 da. Diggy diggy hole cover when? Diggy diggy hole cover when? That would be really funny, I think. I'm gonna, I'll write that down and I'll pitch that next meeting. <laughs> I think that'd be really funny. Can you find like, um, oh my god, dwarf. Ah! Why do I find so many of these guys with armor? That'd be awesome. I'll like, dwarf metal would be cool. And I'm thinking like, can I ask Obi Katie Cat if she can make me like a metal cover and then we can screamo uh diggy diggy hole, even though I can't screamo. I can do things really badly on purpose though. Cover the wild Oh my god, I love the wild rose version. I listen to that in the car a lot. So whenever I go on car trips, or like whenever I hear it, I am reminded of car trips. Eh. That and like Power Wolf. Power Wolf or Dragon Force. Reminds me of car trips. Um Big fan of you, thanks! Big fan of you too, bud. <laughs> Power Wolf goes hard, it does. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All of, all three of them kind of meld together in my mind. Um. Oh god, what is, what is the one I'm trying to think of? I think it's maybe Power Force. Uh. No, Dragon Force. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, da da da. Uh, uh, uh. Oh my god, no, hold on, wait. Who's. Which one of them sang Hoots Force? Or Hoots Force? Which one of them sang that one? That's what I like. Favorite anime is Dragon Ball One Piece. I. I would really. I should really get into One Piece eventually. I just really don't know if I... That's Glory Hammer, damn it. They all sound the same to me, okay? They all sound the same. Like, not derogatory, I just... 
I, I like them all, they all just sound the same. <laughs> Whenever you put them on like YouTube music, they're all like right next to each other. Uh, yeah, I should really get into- Oh, yay! I should really get into One Piece. I knew that was gonna happen. That's why I dug away from it. Face reveal, wouldn't you love that? Wouldn't you love that? <laughs> I like how that wasn't even a request. It was just, it was just a comment. Like, it wasn't even please or when. It was just face reveal. Face reveal. Face reveal, my lord. Tachi face reveal. We have already done several Tachi face reveals. We have done Tachi getting kicked across a field reveal. I don't know how much more you want me to reveal of him. I've shown you guys throttling him. Why are you always digging straight down? Uh, I fear no man. I'm an anime girl IRL, yeah. I came out of the moon two dimensional and it kind of freaked everyone out. But I'm really cool, so no one cares. You play Roblox sometimes. I like Warrior Cats, so I like to play the Warrior Cat game on Roblox. I'm not telling you guys my Roblox username because then you're gonna see how many hours I have in the Warrior Cat game and I'm gonna be embarrassed. Did I forget to install Fulbright again? Hold on. Give me Fulbright, please. Oh, oh, we win, we win, we win, we win. And it's not even cheating because I can say it's for stream quality. It's not even cheating. Oh, we're so back. We're so back. I sorry, sorry. I saw Farum Farum man typing, and he typed in hacks, but my brain read that entire string of words as phantom tax, and I was really confused. You must have loved Erica. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> I was a big Erica fan. Yes. Um, now that I have Fulbright on, I'm very curious on if there's anything that I have missed whilst I've been walking around here. Okay, okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. There we go. Um... You guys up here. If I can get like one more diamond. Oh. Uh, if I get one more diamond, I'll be happy. For I regret to inform uh, you that Renona is threatening you on Twitter. Hold on. Hold. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on. I need to respond to this. What is she saying? Where's my twatter? What did she say? I have so many notifications. You guys like too many stuff. Oh my god, VX on Twitter. Thank you so much. Um, where where is she? Where is Mrs. Renona? V Twitter drama. Hold on, I'm gonna make a call out post. <laughs> I'm gonna make a. Do we still have twit longer? Make a twit longer. Note to self: Do not try to eat weasels very often. I feel like this is a threat. I feel like this is a threat. Wait, I don't hear the notifs? Oh no! Wait, am I not hearing notifications? I just got a DM saying I'm not hearing notifications. Wait, hold on. Whoa, 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 do I not hear them? Advanced audio properties. Alerts. Oh! I have my alerts on monitor off! Oh no, oh no, they should be on monitor and output so I can hear them also. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm sorry. I meant Discord! Wait, what about Discord? 
You don't hear the notice. Yeah, no, I have, I, I have, do not disturb on, hold on. Let me make sure I can actually hear my notifications because I have had like a couple of times where I've had like someone donate something and I didn't know that it happened until afterwards. I do need to make sure that they are on and working. So I am gonna go to my streaming tools, to my overlays. I'm gonna go to my alert thingy, Mididi. I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna go to emulate. I'm going to emulate tip event. That's more like it. Oh, okay. I heard it, but it was doubled. Is this supposed to be doubled? I don't think it's supposed to be doubled. Advanced audio properties, monitor off. That's more like it. Okay, I heard it that time. I heard it, okay, 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 okay. I am such a good streamer. I know how to stream. I know how to stream. I know what I'm doing. I know what I am doing. Do you like cats? Yeah, I like warrior cats. I am allergic to cats though, so I've never like owned a cat. Also, Aku, I take smelling like bananas as a compliment because I do like the smell of bananas. I like banana candy, it's good. Especially like the kind of like the chalky banana stuff that comes in little packages with the little shrimp candies. I think they're nice. Do I do it? Do I do it? Do I go deeper? No, I don't go deeper. I don't. I said pineapple. You said ananas. Oh wait, no, <laughs> in Welsh. <laughs> Thank you. I like pineapple also, but I only like dried pineapple. I don't like like wet pineapple pineapple pineapple. Don't freak me out like that. I don't like wet pineapple, but I really like dried pineapple that has been like dehydrated. Um, I don't like wet pineapple. I don't like pineapple juice. I really wanted to like pineapple juice because I love orange juice and I love apple juice, but I I really couldn't get into pineapple juice. It's very yucky. But like chewy pineapple, like dried chewy pineapple, is peak. I also really like grapes. Um, I like grapes, I really like. Um, I like oranges and tangerines, but is like, I don't eat the whole thing. So you know how people like, so you know when you, when you eat oranges, you like peel the orange? All right, hold on, I need to find a photo. Yeah. So you know how you can like peel an orange um, and it'll still have like those white stringy bits like on the orange still? I hate those bits. So when I eat an orange, I like super, super, super peel the orange and I like, I pull out all of the white stringy things with teasers. No burps. Uh, but like at that point, like, that's so much effort that has gone into eating the orange that it's just not worth it. If I had a live-in butler who could do this for me, I would eat oranges and tangerines all the time. Um, but because it takes me so long to do this, I don't. But that's how I eat my oranges. Uh, it just takes so long, so I just would rather not. I do love apples, though. I eat a lot of apples. That's my favorite fruit. I used to not like watermelon. I used to really not like watermelon. It just tasted like sad carrot to me, but I've been getting really into eating watermelon lately. Um, but I just, I have to buy like really expensive, like fingers of watermelon, like pre-packaged in plastic instead of a whole watermelon because it's not watermelon season yet. And also I walk to the store, like 10 minutes to the store and I sweat a lot and I don't want to have to walk all the way back home with a watermelon in my bag because that's gonna be so, so heavy. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, so next time someone drives me to the store, I'll get like a full watermelon. Bro, are you poor? What? What? Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me? Maybe a little, what of it? <laughs> Grapes, yeah, grapes are really good. I think I mentioned the other day, I like purple grapes more. I'm not a big fan of green grapes because I find that green grapes are very temperamental. Like sometimes they're like really crunchy and sweet, uh, but sometimes they're like really sour and squishy and they're not nice. Um, so I like, I only like purple grapes. 
Buying candy grapes are amazing. I tried some when I was in America. Um, I really could not tell a difference between them and normal grapes. But then again, all the food in America tastes like slightly different, so it was probably just that. The thoughts on peanut butter. Uh, I don't like peanut butter. I do not like peanut butter. Uh, I don't like peanut butter candy. I don't like peanut butter cake. I don't like actual peanut butter. I do not like peanut butter. I'm not a peanut butter girly. I'm sorry. I like jam though. I really like jam. I like to make homemade jam. I haven't made homemade jam in a hot second. Um, but if the weather is nice this year, I would like to make some homemade jam because it is very easy. And I like to give homemade jam to my friends. And all my friends live really far away now, so I think it'd be a really cute gift to give them. Yeah, making homemade jam is so easy, guys. It is so good. I'll have to... Should we make a jam making stream one day? I think the hardest part of making jam is, like, cleaning the pan when you're done with it. So, I just have a dedicated jam pot that is for jam, and I don't have to worry about it being stained with jam. Um, I'll trade you jam for Welsh cakes. I don't like Welsh cakes, but my family does, so I guess I'll take you up on it. Maybe. But yeah, making jam is really easy, especially where I live in the middle of nowhere. Uh, we have like a lot of uh, brambleberry. Brambleberry is not the right word. What do you guys call them? We have like a lot of blackberry bushes. So me and my siblings will just like a, like a bunch of back, uh, baskets and containers and we'll just fill them up with blackberries. Um, and then we get like a couple of like strawberries and raspberries from the store and then we make jam. Um, I like to mix in, uh, apple rinds because that, there's like a chemical thingy in apple rinds that helps everything bind together. Um, so is that diamonds? No, it's lichen again. Um, yeah, so it's really easy. Not all that time consuming either. You just kind of have to sit and hang around for a bit. No! Yes. A <laughs> real weasel behavior, true. I love I love going to the forest and scavenging nuts and berries. I do. I like eating blackberries in the wild, and I like to feed them to my dog, and then my dog gets purple and red all over her mouth, and it looks like she's just eaten, like, killed a rabbit or something. Sell the jam! Nah. It's so easy to make the jam. I would feel bad selling it. Have I ever had bad abrith? I have had bad abrith. Um, <laughs> I am a bad Welsh person. I am actually not a huge fan of bad abrith or Welsh cakes. I'm not. Um, I'm not a fan of lava cakes either. Uh, I really do like uh, Welsh rare bit though. That is probably my like my favorite snack. Welsh rare bit and uh, like lobscouse, I think are my favorite. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big fan of butter brief. I don't know. It's eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Same with Welsh cakes. Welsh, Welsh cakes are. I don't know. Maybe if they're like very buttery and jammy. I could put up with it, but I wouldn't like actively go out of my way. If someone offers one, I'll nibble on it, but I won't go out of my way to like order a Welsh cake anywhere. Um, I feel like that looks like the place I could get out of. Oh, that's a part of the mineshaft. Okay. Is it the dried fruit? Maybe, I don't know. I, I, th I think it is the flavor. There's just something about it that isn't appealing to me, and I, I don't know what it is. Um, oh, but yes, I was saying earlier, um, watermelon, I used to not like watermelon, it just tastes like sad carrot. Uh, but I've been really, really enjoying watermelon a lot lately. I don't know what it is, I was in, like, when I say lately, I mean as of within, like, the last couple of weeks or so. Um, I was in Tesco's, I was doing a grocery shop with my Nana, because she needs help carrying her bags. Um, and we were both feeling really ill. Like, we were both feeling really queasy for no reason. Um, uh, and we were walking past the fruit section, and I looked at the watermelon, and for some reason, just looking at the watermelon, my brain was like, you know what? If you eat that watermelon, your tummy won't feel sick anymore. 
So I took it off the shelf and I started eating it whilst we were still in the store because you can do that in Europe. You're allowed to do that as long as you just show the barcode of the empty packaging. You're allowed to do that. Um, and it did immediately made me feel like I, I didn't feel sick anymore. It made me feel so much better. Um, so I like watermelon now. And I'm excited for when I can buy full watermelons instead of spending so much money on tiny, tiny, tiny portions. What do you mean by sad carrot? It just tastes like a really wet, flavorless carrot. Like, I really don't know how to explain it. It just, it just didn't taste good. I think I maybe had just had bad watermelon in the past. Actually, I'm like, I'm, I'm sure that is it. Carrots don't have a taste. That is a lie. Carrots do have a taste. I love carrots. I love carrots. I love broccoli. I love peas. I love green beans. Oh, okay. No more pickaxe. We're out. Can I get out this way? I don't think we're too low down. Uh, was that grass over there? Oh, okay. Awesome. We can definitely get out this way. I might mark this entrance. Oh, ooh. Maybe... Mm, I have a shovel. Hold on. Stop making sounds on me, game. Stop it. it. Scares me. Yeah, carrots are really yummy. I like carrots. Um, I like having snacks that are just a bag of carrots. I just like eating bags of carrots because they're yummy. They're so yummy. Shredded carrots, big carrots, baby carrots, all carrots. I like carrots as long as they are crunchy. I think that is like my MO when it comes to food. I think I only like food that is crunchy. Like when I think of all my favorite foods, they all tend to be like relatively crunchy stuff. I go through a bag of carrots a day. That is so, that's good. That's peak. That's awesome. That is how it should be. That's a good snack. Good fiber for your body. Okay, creep bar. Oh man. Unless you're European, unless you Europeans are plants, carrots differently from the US. Ones where I have no taste. Mm. American vegetables are weird. When I went to America, I struggled a lot with like acid reflux, no matter what I ate. At first it was like the really greasy stuff, like fast food. Is that a villager? What, 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 what are you doing all the way out here? Are you insane? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? You're so far away. Oh, I have no wood. Oh, you're so dead. You're so... Okay, I need to go get a boat and save this guy. He ran away because he knew I was coming for him. Uh, Yeah, when I went to America, I got a lot of like acid reflux um, from American food. And at first it was stuff that made a lot of sense, like fast food. But then it started to be like... It would be like non-greasy stuff, like a deli sandwich. And then it would be stuff like fruits and vegetables. Like never before in my life have I ever got acid reflux. Let, okay. <laughs> Full stop. I had never had acid reflux before in my life before I went to America. But I could understand getting it with like the really, the really greasy foods, but for like vegetables and like vegetables, fruits, candy, like stuff that wouldn't usually give you an acid reflux. It got to the point where the only thing that I could eat were these like, like honeydew watermelon cream ice popsicle thingies. That was like the only thing I could eat for a really long time because of the acid reflux, which kind of got me through it. <laughs> All that sugar kept me going. Um, but yeah, I think American fruits and vegetables definitely taste different. Um, a lot of things taste different, actually. Your Skittles, so American Skittles taste different. Um, when I bought a bag of Skittles at a gas station, I was really excited. I was like, okay, I really need this sugar. Um, and it, they all tasted very watermelon-y. To the point where I, I thought maybe I had picked up a bag that was watermelon flavor. But no, they were normal Skittles and I gave one to my friend and I was like, does this taste watermelony to you? And she was like, no, this just tastes like Skittles. Um, so yeah, completely different to British Skittles. Uh, your Red Bull tastes different, but only by a little bit, not by a lot. You guys do have different names for your Red Bull though. 
Uh, in the UK, we have a flavor of Red Bull called cactus fruit, but you guys call it dragon fruit because it used to be cooler in America. He's just hanging out with the chickens. He's just a chicken guy. You know, I'll let you be the chicken farmer when we get back home where we're supposed to be. Um. Yeah, yeah. What else is different? Um. Everything tasted uh, like a little bit, a little bit different, but like not a huge amount. Those like the main ones that stood out to me as tasting really, really different. Like the big thing I think that was a huge surprise for me for a really long time is how, is how long the like fresh food stays for. Like in the UK, if I buy blueberries, okay? If I buy blueberries in the UK for my cake, um, those blueberries are gonna go moldy by, like, the end of the week if I don't use them. Maybe even, like, five days if I'm really unlucky. Uh, I have blueberries, uh, that I bought to make a birthday cake for my friend when I was in America. Um, and I was in America for a while, like, three weeks-ish. And then by the time, <laughs> by the time I was getting ready to leave, they still hadn't rotted. They still weren't moldy yet. So that was weird. That was strange and unusual. Very America moment. Yeah, we had like ham in the fridge the whole time that I was there. And I was like, hey, isn't this stuff going to go bad soon? And my friend was like, no, it's fine. I'm like, okay. I don't believe you, but okay. Okay, welcome to the party. Let's go, brother. Maybe I'll even let this guy out the boat so we can make a friend. Huh. No, I won't. That'd be too nice. Okay, can I get out? Hi. Hi. Dragon food is chock full of additives. Absolutely delicious, though. Costco pizza? My god. Costco pizza. Delicious. Best thing I've ever tasted. Um. Okay, we can make a diamond pick. I think that would be a really good idea. So we can get nether eye. I need to start organizing my boxes. I hate organizing. Okay, I love organizing things. I just hate keeping things organized once I have organized them. Like, how dare you unorganize yourself after I've gone to the effort of organizing you? How dare you? Okay, we have a lot of iron e. Um, I'm not a huge rush for gold right now, so I can wait until later. go and then we can make a pickaxe with that we have any sticks left over maybe i got one stick i got one stick only one only one okay and then back to the grind back to the grind i remember i ate strawberries straight from the tub after buying it in america and my friends panicked like i was gonna die because i didn't wash them first what 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 and wash them that, yeah that's a that's a thing when i was in america uh i'm like so i'm so used to just like buying an apple and then eating it and they're like no no you have to wash it first you have to like wash it under the tap water and you have to clean it i'm like what what are you on about and you can't like you can't you can't eat eggs you can't eat raw eggs in america either it's weird you guys are weird you guys are strange 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 people Is there any more else I can start putting these? I always really struggle, like, having enough, um, sugar cane whenever I play Minecraft. So, I'm, like, trying to be super, super proactive on my sugar cane storage this time around. You eat raw eggs! Yes! 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 You're, like, the only country who can, if I'm right. Like... To my knowledge, I think you guys are the only country who can't eat raw eggs because your raw eggs are, like, dangerous and have, like, diseases in them. You're very wrong. That's why I said probably. That's why I said probably, okay? Uh, 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 uh. So what was I doing? I was thinking, I was, I was tearing this thing down. And then we're gonna flatten this hill. We're mental, many of us are psychotic. That's that's crazy. 
thanks or sorry that happened. I don't know which one. Do you not get sick? Um, I don't get sick very often. From raw eggs specifically, no. No, yeah, you guys can just like crack egg over a bowl of rice and that's like completely okay to ha like, what? That's so fine. <laughs> if you're like baking a cake and you get raw eggs on your finger, you can just like lick it off. Which happens to me a lot because I put eggs in my dog's food. I crack an egg on her kibble and she loves it, but she is a dog. We can literally do that? I don't know. I don't know. I've just been told that you cannot eat, you cannot eat American eggs raw. You have to cook them. Stop shouting at me. I don't know. I'm not a professional. Ah. JK, I'm a professional. Everything I say is real, real and true and correct. Mmm, raw cake batter. I wanna make, I wanna make cute cupcakes one day. I don't know how people do cooking streams. Does anyone, does, if anyone knows how to do a cooking stream, please let me know, cause I don't know how to do that. And I would like to do that. I wanna make those like funny cupcakes I told you guys the story about that has like Scooby-Doo on them that you can buy at the store. It's like a ruddy cake mix thingy. All you have to do is add an egg and some water and then you like put stickers on it. I make those, but I want to go to eBay and I want to find a company that makes custom cake stickers and I want to put my face on it. Dream come true. Raw cookie dough. I have never understood the hype around eating raw cookie dough. That is a lie. That is a lie. Actually, I do. Because when I was a teenager, I used to keep just a plain, like a tub, a giant tub of Betty Crocker's buttercream icing under my bed and I would just eat spoonfuls of it when I was in high school. I love sugar. <laughs> I love sugar. <laughs> I like when brain go fast. I hate when teeth hurt. <laughs> Question mark, question mark, question mark. That is, that is the question. That is the question. The icing slaps, it does. Just stick a spoon in there and then put the lid on and then throw it back under your bed until the next time you want some icing. My teeth hurt, teeth hurting his base. My teeth hurt literally all day yesterday and he was, oh my God. That is just the, that is the foodie for entail fan experience. The second you hit the subscribe button, your teeth start hurting. I told my mom that I missed my dentist appointment. She was really angry at me. <laughs> Listen, once again, if we all just took our teeth out and we put dentures in, we wouldn't have this issue. God damn it. Under their bed, raw icing is a next level move. I'm just that smart. I'm just that smart and good at everything. I really thought you guys would have gotten like used to this by now. I'm just so smart. Is this exciting content? Is this exciting? Are you compelled to subscribe and give me money? Are you compelled? You should do that. Let's do this before the sun goes down. Cause I'm not embarrassing myself again. <sighs> Getting efficiency on that would be pretty nice. I don't know how we feel about going to find obsidian though. I don't know if I want to risk it. <laughs> You're still just 35. You need to be pounding calcium big time to avoid scoliosis or whatever. Just keep your spine from blowing out. I don't know, man. My spine is already messed the hell up. I got that shrimp posture. I think it's over for me already. <laughs> Back at it again! I love digging dirt! Unsubscribe to subscribe again. You guys are so smart. Keep doing that. Don't actually, I think that might get you... I think that might get you like flagged as a bot, maybe? I'm not sure. Calcium every day, girl, every day. I drink Yakult. 
I drink Yakul and Actimil every day. That's how I get my vitamins. Oh no, I've been taking vitamins a lot recently, actually. My spine is like a roller coaster. God damn. We love scoliosis, people. We love it. It's fur over. It's so fur over. I had a really fun idea. Fan building competition. I wouldn't be opposed to that. We definitely need to have like a theme, I think. Like maybe we could set something up where we have like a big office building and you guys are business associates and you have to like decorate the inside of your like office maybe? That'd be pretty cool. Am I crazy? Or does the dirt with no grass on it break faster than dirt with grass on it? I think it's by like a millisecond. I hate PvP. For like a PvP event, like there would have to be a spin on it. For sure. There would have to be like it couldn't just be like, okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do PvP for two hours. We'd have to have like a, a reason for it, I think. Um, so maybe it could be, um, it does. Okay, thank God, I, I, I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. I've never been crazy day in my life. Um, yeah, that'd have to be like, um, that'd have to be a secondary thing to the PVP. But I'm not sure what that would be. Um, in the Discord, actually. In the Discord, someone had an idea for something that was like, um, like a, a, a factions or a the walls style event. I think we could do that and that would bring in the PvP. Um, I think the, I can't remember exactly who suggested it. So if that was you, thank you. That was a very cool idea. Um, I think it would be set up in the way where there would be like four walls teams uh, probably that would be like Ariel's faction, Scarlet's faction, Estella's faction, and Renona's faction. Um, and then I would be like the overarching god and we'd have to like pit people up against each other. And as like the, like, the little mini, mini team gods, uh, the rest of the guardians would be able to give people supplies and stuff. That might be pretty cool. Um, but then that would bring in like a lot of issues with uh, like availability and scheduling the other guardians. Is it just me or is your mouth tracking really good? Oh my god, so many people have pointed this out to me and um, wow, I, I, I gotta let DG Studio know. <laughs> I gotta let DG Studio know. So, um, the way that my mouth tracking works is actually nobody would expect. Um, so lots of VTube models are tracked to the shape of your mouth. So if you open your mouth, like go ba 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 ba, it like it follows the shape of your mouth. However, I speak really, really, really fast. We're two hours and 18 minutes in and I don't think I've stopped talking once. And I'm sure you've taken note of that. I talk very fast. I talk very, 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 very fast. Um, and because I talk fast, the tracking of my mouth can't actually, it can't actually keep up with how fast my mouth moves. Um, so <laughs> because of that, my mouth rigging is actually set to sounds. So instead of tracking the shape of my lips, it is actually tracking my voice and the sounds coming out of my mouth and the different shapes on my mouth, like having like a big open mouth versus a small open mouth are assigned to different sounds. So if I make a ah sound, it opens my mouth. But if I make a ooh sound, it makes my mouth go into an O shape. Um, so yeah, my mouth moves too fast for my camera to keep up with, but the, um, it can tell via audio instead. Yeah, it is really cool. The only downside to it is if I make any other kind of sound, i.e. blowing into a harmonica like this, uh, my mouth opens because VTube Studio thinks it's me making that sound. Um, also if I like hit my desk, you can see my mouth moves a little bit because it thinks the sound of me hitting my desk is my voice. <laughs> um, but other than that, which is like so minor, and I don't think anyone would ever really notice, I think it works incredibly well. I think it works really, really well. 
better but better than like regular tracking and i know a lot of vtubers don't like the audio mouth tracking but because of the way my recording uh, setup is and just how quick i talk and how fast my mouth moves this just works personally for me really really well Ah, uh, yeah every, everyone's rigging though is gonna be different though it's gonna be like super different person to person and what works well for them that's sweet! It's funny! Yeah! It's a cool little, little workaround! I like how your ears wiggle! Thank you! I do have, uh, I do have buttons, actually, that allow me to move my individual ears. But I'm having issues with VTube Studio right now. I think I need to reinstall VTube Studio and set it to run as administrator. Um, because... I should be able to press my button for, like, my emotes whenever I want and they activate. But right now, I can only really press my emotes when I'm inside of VTube Studio, which I am often not. I am usually just playing a video game, uh, which is why you might have noticed that I was using like more emotes and I was a lot more like expressionful in Ariel's quiz show collab because I was in VTube Studio the whole time. Um, but apparently I can fix that by running myself as administrator, I think. I need to double check with Scarlet. Um, so yeah, ho hopefully I can get that set up soon and I can be a little bit more, um, like ha have some more expressions in my model. I, I do forget though, because I don't know, I'm, I'm playing the video game <laughs> and I just forget. <laughs> so ensure you're a fast talking menace and that's why regular track. Yeah, I'm just built different. I am just built different. <laughs> In general, I adore your raw, your model and your rigging. Everything is so cute. Thank you a lot. That means that means a whole lot to me and then everyone who is involved in rigging the model and doing the model art. Yeah, everyone worked super, super hard. Um, I do feel bad because everyone that I worked with, I was so, so picky with. I was like, okay, this is perfect, but just change this one tiny minute detail. And then they would, and I was like, okay, perfect. And now change this one tiny minute detail. So everyone who worked with me on this model had a huge amount of patience and they are just absolutely saints, all of them. <laughs> and I'm really happy because um, I think all that hard work has like paid off. Uh, I think a lot of people really, really like the foodie model. Um, so all of that hard work has definitely paid off and it has been, it's been really fun for everyone involved, I think. Mm -mm -mm. I feel like I've been at this forever. It's going down a little bit though. I assume you IV Red Bull. I'm just built like this, brother. I'm just built like this for better or worse. But yeah, I love chatting. I love chitting and chatting. I do get like a little bit of a, a horse voice though. <laughs> I need a, well, the thing is uh, what a lot of streamers uh have there's like a very specific type of uh like herbal tea i think a lot of streamers use as a drink after streaming to take care of the throat um but i really don't like the taste of tea and i really don't like hot drinks either um so i don't know if i like the taste of it so i just kind of live on uh like throat lozenges like lemon mint throat lozenges after streams and stuff because if i lose my voice i mean I can't, that's i'm kind of it's it's over, right? <laughs> What's happening, Tai Shiru? Shiru, have you ever played League of Legends? Have you ever played League of Legends? I'd love to know. One question. Why do you live so late? Uh, is that live or live? Um, so I do live quite late in the day. Purely because I have always lived like this. Both me and my mom have always been like very night owl people. Um, we've always spent like most of our time in the evening instead of the morning. I would love to be a morning person. I find that when I wake up in the mornings, I get so much more done with my day. I'm so much more productive. I feel better. I eat better. Like my day is just so much better uh, when I wake up in the morning. But because so much of my life revolves around things like content creation, uh, which is a very like American dominated sphere, um, I spend a lot of time awake later at light at night so I can keep up with other people in like more American time zones and that includes streaming as well. I would love to stream like I'd love to stream in the afternoon. That would be like my ideal t uh, streaming time slot. However, most people in the UK are at work or in school and then most people in America are also at work or at school or they're just asleep. So 8 p.m. is like 8 p.m. my time at the very least, 3 p.m. EDT is like 
the perfect balance or like the best balance that I've been able to kind of strike to, I guess, be available to American audiences and British audiences at the same time. Because I know it'd be like, it would be, it'd be a lot more, um, like, profitable for me to like like go full nocturnal and stream in american time zone times um but i want to do a lot in the uk i want to meet like a lot of uk friends and i want to go to a lot of uk like based conventions and stuff um so i, I want to make sure that i'm targeting both locations equally and if i had to choose i would probably like want to choose like the european time zones more mostly because we got to represent dude but it's like there's like no one. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. There, there's a lot of people, but there can always be more. For for every one European VTuber that pops up, there's like eighteen thousand American VTubers. I played League of Legends for eleven years when I stopped recently. Oh man. Oh man. You gotta you gotta teach me, dude. Let me be. Let me be Yumi. <laughs> it's nice finding UK streamer. I'm almost an internal VOD watcher. Yeah, I get it, dude. It's like I've, I have so many friends that do stuff, and I always want to be there, but it's like 3 a.m. my time. It's like, brother, brother, I'd love to be at your event. I'd love to do this thing with you, but I can't. It's like, I'm a sleeper. I don't like tea. Are you really right? Yeah, no, I don't like tea. I don't like tea. I don't like coffee. I don't like any kind of hot drink. Um, but also just like the taste of tea and coffee. I don't like iced tea. I don't like iced coffee. I just don't like the taste of it. Uh, I don't like bubble tea, but I do really like bubble juice. I think bubble juice is really nice. Which is basically, it, it's just, it's just like a fizzy, fizzy juice with like popping, popping pearls in it. Whoa. My work hours don't line up uh, well with most streamers, it seems anyway. So I'm used to the VODs. That's fair. Am I being attacked by an Enderman or a Skeleton? I'm not quite sure. Yeah, working makes things extra hard. Hello, all the best. Hello, Ruka. Hi, hi, hi. I see you a lot. Hi, it is good to see you. <laughs> Message from Footy Fever. Ooh, woo. Thank you, Footy Fever. The Fever accounts are a enigma to me. They're very funny, but I have no idea who they are. And I don't know how they make so many memes. I think they spend more time making memes than they do anything else. So whenever I turn on Twitter, there's like 13 new memes that they've made. It's like, who are you? Is it one person behind multiple accounts? Is there five of you? Is this an in-joke? Do you have a friend group? Where did you come from? Who are you? But also keep it up because it's hilarious. <laughs> I was showing my mom a lot of the a lot of the memes that people made. She didn't understand a lot of them, but she found them really funny. Um, also, the people who are behind the Fever accounts, I want you guys to know that we have like a, the me and the Guardians, we have a meme channel on our Discord that we hang out in. Um, and like the only thing that gets posted in there anymore are the tweets that you guys make, they're so funny. <laughs> they're so good. I'm a Fever account fan. Aw, you. Make another chest. I gotta organize. Ugh, organization. I'm sure they'll keep it up. I don't like that winky face that you have made. I don't like that winky face. I think you might be one of them, and I'm scared. I don't know how to trust anyone on the internet anymore. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Chosen wound. I'm gonna keep an eye on you. I have a simple wound. Okay, I know exactly who you are. You are absolutely- You're- Okay, no, sorry. I know- He could be in this very room. Okay, well, now that you're all typing that, I have suspicions about everyone. Stop that. Stop. I'm getting nervous. Anyone? No, stop. <laughs> Which resource pack gives the- Or the textures? Oh, the resource pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me find, uh, like a good example for you. Oh, wait, hold on. There are, like, emeralds. Yeah, there's emeralds over there that we saw earlier. Okay, I am suspicious. I am suspicious of Pablo, and I am suspicious of Woon. Those are the two that I am suspicious of. Uh, over here. Uh, yeah, so the three-dimensional, um... 
three-dimensional ore thing. It is a texture pack. It is called... It's not emissive ores. It's called... It's called Slight Depth. It also works on things like items, and it also works on... Um, like bookshelves and furnaces and stuff like that. So if you have a furnace and you put like an ingot in there, you can see it cooking. I'll show you next time I have something in the furnace. And it, it works on library books and the books are really pretty. It adds like a couple of like little accessories in the library as well. It like puts like a, a globe on the bookshelf. Uh, where was it? Was it on this side or was it on? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, so if I get like right up close to it, you can see that it sticks out like literally by one pixel. It sticks out by one pixel. Um, but I think it looks nice. And it also overrides the new textures for these blocks that I, I'm not like a huge fan of. So it, it works for me both ways. Maybe the real footy fever account was the friends we made along the way. Yeah, yeah, maybe it was. My throat is starting to hurt now, but I just want to play Minecraft. I have anything to do tonight. I just want to play Minecraft. I'm gonna make cows. We haven't even built anything yet. I just want to play Minecraft. My throat hurts. I'm not gonna be able to do anything tomorrow. Ugh. I hate it here. Uh, yeah, so if you look at the furnaces here, you can see there's like a slight depth added like you can see on the inside there and you can see there's like coals down at the bottom um and then if i cook something mm. oh let's cook some um oh my gosh so my throat let's cook some gold yeah so if i put something to burn in there you can see that these have now like oh Where's my shift? There you go. So you can see that this is like lit up now and there's some like iron ingot things in there. And you can also see that the coals have lit up on the bottom. And there's like some detail around the edges as well. It's pretty cool. Um, but it's not on every single box. If I find, I really want to show you guys what it looks like on um, like bookshelf blocks. Cause I think that's where it looks the best. Munch, 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 munch. Okay, I say. I say, for the sake of longevity, and for the sake of having a voice for tomorrow, and also so that no one gets huge FOMO and doesn't want to touch a really, really, really long 10 hour of VOD, um, I'm thinking I'm gonna dig up like the, like the, I'm gonna dig up this area to a degree that I'm happy and I think maybe we'll, we'll put a pin in it there. I promise on my heart, I'm a casual VTuber fan and just happened to catch your debut and I got hooked on it. Aww! Aww, <laughs> thank you. I, I was talking to my mom because I was surprised that she watched my whole debut. She has like, she doesn't have, she doesn't have like the biggest attention span like me. And I stuttered in the middle of that because I realized that now that I know she's a VOD watcher, I have to be really careful about what I say. <laughs> um, but she ha doesn't have like the best attention span. It runs in the family. So when she said that she watched my full debut, I, I was really surprised because I didn't expect that. But also, I have rewatched my debut a couple of times over now, but I never mean to. It's like I always go to YouTube to do something like to like I'm trying to set up some playlists right now so that you guys can see the videos that I'm in, even if they're not posted on this channel and stuff like that. Um, but every time I go on like my my YouTube page, my debut video is like the first the first video that pops up and it just keeps playing. And I find that I watch it all the way until the end and I never notice that like an entire hour has passed by the time I'm done watching it. Um, so again, I hate to be, I hate to feel like boastful, but I think I did a good job on the debut because I have a very, very short attention span. And I managed to get like so engrossed watching it every single time and like reading the chat and stuff. Because I didn't get to read it during debut because I was debuting. So it's always fun like seeing things I didn't see in the chat. Um, but it keeps me really entertained and I, I never realized that an hour has passed. And I think that means that the, the, the debut was good. <laughs> I think that it means it was good. If it can capture my short attention span, then... I think I think it was good. I was I was really really nervous. Um, 
I, I'm, I'm still nervous, but I'm like getting more comfortable now. Cause usually I would be like really, really nervous before a stream and I wouldn't know what to do. And like my heart would start beating really fast. I'm so like, I'm so anxious, but I'm pretty chill with it now. Like, I just started the stream and I like, I know I'm gonna say my greeting and you guys are gonna say it back and then we're just gonna hang out. So I, I think it's worked, I think it's worked out well. <laughs> I'm, I'm very happy with how things have turned out. I was very, very nervous. Um, and I don't think I would have had it go any other way. Your debut was some of the best I have ever seen, I promise. I, I've had quite a few people tell me that. I've had quite a few unexpected people tell me that. <laughs> I have had- God, God, I wish I could just leak my entire DM list right now. Cause I have had some- I had some messages! <laughs> I think the- uh, I, I don't want to expose anyone because I think privacy is like so important when it comes to VTubing. Cause we- we- It is so important to VTubers and we constantly have to battle with it. So I want to be like really careful with who I say so I don't like incriminate anyone. Um, but there were- there were- there was someone- Oh, let's say there, there, there was a company that I commissioned uh, to work on some stuff for my debut. And the company who made that stuff for me uh, liked the debut so much that they watched it. Which was a surprise to me. Because I didn't think that they would. And they went out of their way to message me on like the business account. And they were like, oh my god, your debut is like really, really good. Congratulations. And I was like, oh my god, what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bro, I'm just a baby. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a silly little guy. It was a great debut, debut. Oh god, okay. Now you guys are just fluffing me. Now you're just fluffing me. <laughs> One question, have you eaten cold pizza? Yes. I ate cold pizza on... I ate cold pizza on my debut because uh, my family was eating pizza, but I was debuting and I didn't have an appetite and I I was, I was could not eat because I was so nervous, which apparently is a very normal thing. I've spoken to like a lot of VTubers who've debuted around the same time as us and everyone's like, oh God, yeah, we, we had like, we were so nervous, we had no appetite. So I'm glad to see that it is a, it is a common thing. Uh, I did have uh, cold pizza on debut because I heated up the pizza that was left over for me. Um, but I was still like so nervous after my debut that it took me like a couple of hours to get my appetite back. Um, and by the time I had my appetite back, my pizza was cold and I couldn't, I didn't feel like microwaving it again. But cheeseless pizza, ironically, yes, I have had cheeseless pizza in the form of like a chocolate pizza thing. There's like a pizza place semi close to us. So when we want to treat, we go out there and they serve like, like a dessert option pizza that is like dough that has like chocolate sauce on it and has like marshmallows and banana slices. It's really nice. Um, but I'm assuming that's what you mean by cheeseless pizza, right? Good quality content can be so addictive. Diehard fans easily get labeled as obsessed and find themselves accused of stalking. Please don't get bent if people devour your content. <laughs> I, I'll try, I'll try. I'll do my best. <laughs> Footy Fever says, ooh, woo, it was great. I, I don't, okay, Woon, I'm on to you. I'm gonna do some sleuthing later. I'm on to you. Good quality content, the only good quality content I know is, okay, 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 you guys, you're not getting, you're not getting any, you're not getting nothing from me. You're not getting any promotions with all this. <laughs> no promotions, no free promotions. You guys are gonna work here at minimum wage until you die. <laughs> okay, good night. I hope you have a nice life. I'm not trying to get caught by my African parents. <laughs> oh no, good luck, dude. Good luck, dude. I hope you have a good rest of your evening and hopefully I can see you sometime soon. I can't fight but Oh, is he the person who drew the business associate Sona? Oh, I have seen a lot of people asking in like chats and on Minecraft and in the Discord server and stuff and I never really get the chance to reply. Um, I am often asked if when people are designing their own business associates, uh, if they are allowed to have a color tie that is an orange, for example, if they are allowed a blue tie, you guys are allowed any color tie on your business associate as long as it's not green. 
that is the that that is like the only thing that you guys aren't allowed to have is you're not allowed to have a green tie any shade of green you can have any color tie the standard color is orange just to be on theme but if you want any other color if you want red or blue or yellow you can have whatever you want just not green uh, and the reason that I don't want any business associates having green ties is because I want to make it very easy when I'm commissioning artwork or a, a, like official assets and stuff like that. Um, because Tachi... Tachi is not my mascot. Uh, Tachi is like... Tachi is like another streamer, I guess. <laughs> Tachi, Tachi is uh, his own thing is kind of how I want it to work. Like I want Tachi to be his own like... His own dude. Yeah, yeah. I want Tachi to be like his own separate character. Um, so I really don't want the business associates to get mistaken for Tachi is like my my big worry. So that's like the only thing I'm gonna be super strict on when it comes uh, to business associates is as long as the tie isn't green so that it doesn't get mixed up for Tachi, uh, then it could be like whatever. You can have a polka dot tie. You can have a checker tie, you can have a rainbow tie, you can have a tie with with spikes in it. You can have like whatever. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. As long as it isn't green. That is the, that's the ground rule. <laughs> okay, I think this is, so I'm gonna have to like flatten out a lot, but because you're kind of on like a little islandy area, it shouldn't be too hard. I just have to, uh, I actually, mm. Maybe... Ah, uh, we have... We have years. We have years of streams ahead of us. We can flatten it out. It'll be fine. You have a beautiful belly button. Imagine... Imagine you were playing a video game. Imagine you're playing a video game at like <clears throat> at like a video game tournament <clears throat> or like a video game club and you're just hanging out and you're just playing a video game and someone walks up to you and like taps you on the shoulder and you're like, hey, and they're like, you have a beautiful belly button. How, what, how, how thanks? Thanks? Thumbs up emoji? Thanks? I think? I think? I think? <laughs> How many uh, eggs an hour do we get for work? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about it. Has to. We'll see how well you perform this month, okay? Map. No, no, we're not making this a thing. <laughs> we're not making. We're not making the belly button a thing. But only the belly button. Yeah, nothing else. Only the belly button. Speaking of belly buttons, have you guys seen Kitty Killavolt's belly button? Oh, it's so good. Oh my god, have you guys seen Bonnie Barksworth's belly button? Oh my god. Ma'am, okay, okay, people, people, people. <laughs> gotta leave the button alone. You gotta leave the belly button alone. New conversation topic. Indies or Audis, gamers? Indies or Audis? If we're talking about the most beautiful belly button, we have to decide if that's an Innie or an Audi first. What's the death counter? Hi, Sainu! My mom knew you. My mom was telling me about who she thinks is my biggest fan, and she was like, oh, let me, like, I, I wrote down a couple of names of people that I thought were your biggest fans, and she said, Sainu. So, my mom knows who you are, Sainu. Sain, Sainau. I hope you like it. How much rent would you pay to live in Foodie's belly button? Five eggs, max. <laughs> What is this cultured conversation? I'm gonna have to say innies. Only because I've never seen an Audi in real life and I don't know if I'm if I'm ready. I don't know if I'm ready for that level of of that level of yab. Of that level of unsay so. She's wrong. I when she asked me, like, who do you think your biggest fan is? I was like, it has to be like the fever accounts on Twitter. And she's like, oh, I'm not on Twitter. Oh my god, yeah. She's like, I'm not on Twitter, so I don't know where your tweets are. And I was like, oh, I posted like a couple of cool videos on that. You wanna see them? She's like, yeah. So I gave her my phone, and the first thing that she did when she got my phone is that she opened a tweet and she started writing something. I was like, no, stop it! Stop it. So she got a row, she got in trouble. Show the belly button. I don't know. Can I have money first, maybe? 
Give me twenty dollar. Give me twenty dollar for belly button, and then maybe I'll think about it. Give me twenty dollars right now. I'm gonna go save seal on tomorrow's stream. Bye. Good night, Pablo. Hope you have a good EP EP sleepy. EP, EBDB, EP Slippy, and then tomorrow we're gonna have a dopamine overdose by opening a bunch of pieces of shiny plastic. Please stop saying Seinu. I don't know, I kind of like Seinu. My name is pronounced Sa-e-no-o. 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 Okay, Sa-e-no-o. I'm gonna enter every stream with Mam. You have a very beautiful belly block. And do you wanna get, do you, do you wanna get blocked on Twitter? You want to get blocked from Twitter. 50 bucks a peep. Yeah, the price has gone up. 50 bucks a peep for the belly button, people. 50 bucks a peep. It's Seinu now. Yeah, you've been assigned Seinu by me. And everyone knows that everything I say is correct. I like how this guy's name is just Berries. And his profile picture is a, a thing of berries. I'm kind of, I'm down with that. Berries, can you change your profile picture to, what are, what are those? How do I make your profile picture bigger? Can I like click on someone in my chat and like be taken to their YouTube page? Can I do that? Berries, where are you? Oh God, I just clicked on YouTube studio. This is gonna like go really, really fast for a second. My name is Japanese, I'm sorry, I'm British. I have a really, I have an accent. Okay, berries. Let me click on your... No, let me... How do I go to your account? Berries. How do I do that? I want to see where your profile picture is. I don't know how to see your profile... Berries, make your profile picture... Um, Make them blackberries, please. If you click on the dots... Is that how I do? No, it just it gives me like an option to ban someone and then make them a mod. I figured out... So, I didn't know you could do that to mod people... Uh, cause I had like a couple people come into my chat. I had like, uh, Serenity came into the chat. Uh, I think Kohaku came into the chat. Dizzy and Lumi came into the chat. So I had like a couple people come in. I'm like, oh my gosh, hi, let me give you mod. Cause that's like apparently what you're supposed to do with people. But I couldn't figure out how to do it. Um, and apparently it is just as easy as clicking on the dots by people's names and you can make them a mod, but I didn't know that. So I just went into like my YouTube settings and I manually added everyone that I've ever interacted with on Twitter as a mod on my channel because I don't want that to happen again because I might not be able to figure out if it ever if it ever happens live. <laughs> I didn't get the oh, sorry, yeah, I think I've died twice. I think I died two times. Yeah, I died no, three. Three times I think. But like they weren't they weren't super embarrassing. One was like I missed one, I got hit by the iron golem because he moved in the way when I was trying to, um, dig, because I was trying to dig up the floor. Um, and then one was I missed a, I missed a water bucket. And then when I went for the water bucket again, I missed it again. I believe that debut Nova wasn't a mod. No, Nova, Nova and Salmon were modded at my debut. I, I made sure. <laughs> I made sure because I wanted them to stand out. Check the game chat. No, because you might see my cheats. Kidding. Uh, Footy was slain by Iron Golem. Footy fell from a high place. Footy fell from a high place. Footy fell. Okay, I've died four times. Four times. Dizzy and Lumi from FaZe. Yes. Thumbs up emoji. I was very scared. <laughs> I was very scared. It's like... It's like, it's like, imagine, imagine you're like a singer or something, and then Beyonce shows up at your house. That's what that felt like. That's what that experience was like for me. It was, I'm still, I, if I think about it too hard, I get a little bit of a headache. <laughs> that is still mind blowing, I'm still not over that. <laughs> and it's like, like, uh, I think Dizzy came in and she said, uh, like, has anyone kept track of how many that she has gotten right so far? Which means that, like, not, like, she hadn't just came in and then just said, like, something random. She, like, said something stream relevant. And she was there for a while, because she said something, like, a, like, a, like, 40 minutes later as well. And then Lumi, Lumi only started typing when I started talking about, like, ROM hacks and stuff. So again, she must have been there for a while and was got- and got activated when I was talking about ROM hacks. Which makes sense, because I think she's been playing, uh, she's been playing Snakewood, I think. 
Um, so yeah, that was that was crazy. That was an out of body experience. <laughs> Missing a water bucket clutch in 2024. Listen, I was distracted. There were creepers in my in my line of sight. I was scared. I'm always scared. I'm always scared. <laughs> face goes to chill. Yeah, face go. Face faces. Face is chillax. I'm hearing excuses. No, you're hearing. No, stop! <laughs> Why do you guys like to gang up on me? It's not fair. I was literally born last week. I was born last week. You guys are so mean to me. I'm li I'm just a newborn baby. What the hell? Oh my god, berries! Thank you so much for the blackberries. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you so much. I will make I'll make blackberry jam in memoriam. Yippee! Oh yeah, so um, so there's like a really way to add, add someone as a mod is where you just click on like the the dots by their message and you can add them as a mod. But I did it the hard way where I went into my YouTube Studio settings, I went into my customization settings, and I found account administrators and then I added them physically as mods. Um, so I did a lot of people as mods. Um, like ever anyone that I have interacted with a lot on Twitter that I think might come over to my stream one day. It's like I'm I'm tentatively like setting the table for people, <laughs> so that if they do show up one day, I will be here. What would be your dream collab? What VTuber specifically? Oh man, oh man. So there's like a, a lot of people that I really really like in VTubing, but I don't. You never really know how well your personality is gonna like match up with someone until you like meet with them and like hang out with them. And also the game, I think the game has a big um, impact on how good the collab is also. Uh, which is why when people message me, they're like, hey, oh my God, do you want to collab? And it's like, I don't know who they are. And I'm like, I, I, I don't know how. <laughs> Like, I don't know if the collab will be good, is the thing, because I don't know them. And also, they, like, suggest games that I don't I don't like, and I don't think the collab would be good in that regard either. Um, so I have, like, I would love to stream, like, a bunch of, like, Oshis and stuff that I have. Like, for example, like, Fuomoko. I love Fuomoko. But I don't know how well our personalities would, like, get along. I don't know how well we would get along with each other in, like, a stream setting where you're, the main objective is to entertain people. Um, so I would definitely have to do some kind of, like... I think Minecraft is a really good game for collabs, and a lot of people like Minecraft, so I don't think that would be an issue whatsoever. But personality-wise, I don't know. I really don't. Um... Dream collab. Oh man, I need to like I need to rack my mind now of whose of whose personality I think I would get along with really really well. Ah, uh, pre. Because mm. I don't know what would work better for me. I don't know if I would need someone who is equally as hyperactive as me. Or if it would be actually funnier to have someone who is maybe like a lot more chilled out. Um, yeah, having someone that's like a lot more chilled out and like maybe more like sarcastic and mature that in a way that we could like bounce off each other quite, quite well and we'd have... Um, no. Um, and we would have like a good dynamic in that way, I think. So, yeah, I don't know if I would aim towards someone who is like a similar age, similar interest, similar level of like hyperactivity, or if I should aim for someone who's like a lot more chilled out and they could kind of strike that balance. I don't really know. So like top, top of my head, like first person, like it's a hot topic. I'm thinking like Doki Bird, but I don't think as much as I love her and that would be amazing. Um, I don't know if our personalities would get along very well. I think maybe my hyperactivity would be a little bit like too overwhelming maybe. And I wouldn't know how to like get onto Doki's level. So I think it would have to be someone who is like really, really energetic, but can maybe take on 
like a slightly older role in the dynamic to kind of create maybe like a, a fun sibling-esque dynamic. I don't know, I'm, I'm like thinking this, I'm trying to think of this from the point of view of like, what would make a really good video? What would make like a really, really, really good video that would be funny and not like so much how, how much I would want to do something? Um, I did see someone say Buff Pup. I really, really like Buff Pup. I think, but yeah, I, <laughs> I nearly got the chance to meet Buff Pup at Otakon last year, um, but I got the time wrong on the meet and greet schedule, and I was so sad about it. That would have been incredible to meet Buff Pup. Um, I think Buff Pup would be really cool, especially because she's got that new like uh, Corpa outfit as well, where she's like a CEO. So we could definitely kind of work on something from uh, like do something like funny business themed with her new outfit. Um. Buffa would be funny. Uh, I think Buff and, Buff, 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 Buff and I have a lot in common as well. Um, I'm a big werewolf girly. I have never been a vampire fan. I think vampires are overrated. I think werewolves are the way to go. And I think she would understand me. Um, and we were like, we're both like animals. So I think that would be fun. Um, who else? You can have a business. Yeah, we can do lots of business with each other. Business, 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 business. Um, uh, 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 um, I'm trying to think of who, whose streams do I watch well enough to get a gauge of someone's personality? Because I, I see, I see a lot of people on Twitter. I see a lot of clips on Twitter. I interact with a lot of people on Twitter. Um, but watching streams not so often because I have so much to do. Um, so I don't know. I'm like, I feel like I'm coming up blanks. Gareth Bale, yeah, let me collab with- Oh, you know what, let's- Get me a collab with Connor Seadog. Get me a collab with Connor Seadog, and then we can talk about Welsh things together. <gasps> Maybe Lena! Oh my god, Lena- Lena Lazar. Uh, or- Is it- Is it Lena Lazar or is it Lena Lazar? Uh, anyway, Lena! Oh my god. Oh my god. So, when I finish my debut, um... I sent her a message that was pretty much like, hi, thank you so much for like doing the watch along with my debut. Um, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna like watch your VOD back tomorrow. Like, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to do the watch along with us, it means so much. Um, I just sent her that message and like think anything too much of it. And of course, when I first heard her name, I was so, so excited. I told all my friends and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna Lena's gonna be doing a watch along. Um, and they're like, no, you're kidding. And I'm like, yeah. So I was really excited, but I wanted to keep it like very, very, very cordial because I didn't know what she would have thought of me at that point. Um, and then I went back and I watched her VOD and I don't think anyone has ever said such nice things about me before in my life. Like, I, I think I had misty eyes the entire time that I was watching her VOD and I was gushing about it. So my mom was like, oh my God, she said such nice things to me. <laughs> She is so, oh my god, the things that she said during that watch along stream were so, were so kind and also so very encouraging. Super, super, super encouraging. Like there was a lot of things about my debut that I felt like I probably could have done better and stuff that I was really, really worried about. Um, but yeah, hearing what she had to say made me feel really, really, she made me feel really good. Um, and I have since, uh... <laughs> I, I have since reached out to it. I was like, oh my god, I just watched your day. I just watched the VOD stream. Holy crap, thank you so much. You said such nice things to me. I've like, no one's ever been this nice to me before. Oh my god, I'm gonna freak out. And she was like, yo, get used to it, girl. <laughs> She's so lovely. She's so nice. Um, if she, if she, I know that she said during her watch along that she would be interested in a collab stream, but I'm really, really nervous in reaching out to her because I worry about being at a point in my career where I I have quite small numbers and I was only born last week. So I'm very, very new and I worry about reaching out to people, even though they've reached out to me first for collabs and stuff, because I don't want to seem like I am like trying to leech off anyone for numbers. And then I also, I'm very sensitive. So I don't want to go like go on a Twitter and see people like if, if I do do those collabs and I do see some success from it and then I go on Twitter and people are like, oh my God, she's, oh my God, she's, oh, she, she, she stealing, stealing other people's hard work. Cause I think that might make me cry if that happens. Um, so maybe I will, 
I think I will definitely reach out to her one day or maybe I'll ask my manager to do it if I feel like really nervous about it. <laughs> but I think that'd be really cool. I'm gonna have to like check out her Twitch and see what kind of games that she likes to play. Cause when I wanna do, when I, when I do clubs with people, I wanna have like a proposition that I can um, like give them for the collab. Um, like I don't wanna just be like, oh my gosh, hi, you should collab with me. I wanna be like, hey, do you want to collab and we can do this and this and this and this? Like, I want to be able to give them, like, uh, I, I want to be able to give them a pitch of, like, what we would be doing. Um, and then, of course, if they have something different in mind, we can obviously do that. But I want to be able to have, like, a pitch. So I'll need to, like, go through some of her Twitch VODs and stuff and see what kind of, like, games are her favorite and stuff. Uh, and then maybe when I have an idea of like something fun that we could do together, I might I might ask my manager if they can reach out to her for me. <laughs> She's big into horror, but she streams a bit of everything given the state of horror games. Okay. I am really bad with horror. I am really, really bad with horror. I get really, really scared of horror games. Uh, but I could ask if she wants to do like maybe play some like Minecraft horror maps, like the old Herobrine map and stuff. I think that'd be, be kind of funny. <laughs> You should be careful with a Nova collab. You could be the second guy she brands up for. It's too, it's too late for me, bro. It's too late. It's over. I've already been clipped. Call myself a furry. At least I'll never show you guys my fursona. <laughs> um, maybe he is. Perhaps I have discussed something with one Nova Aokami Senpai. Perhaps, perhaps we have discussed something, but I shan't say any further because I will spoil it and I don't want to do that. <laughs> also, maybe I have a collab with one of the Guardians next week, but again, I don't want to tell you guys what it is until my schedule's ready, which should be Sunday. It should be tomorrow. So you guys will be the first to see my schedule before I put it on Twitter if you come into the stream tomorrow. <laughs> She's already had it! Wait, wait, Nova? Nova has on Warrior Cat? Oh wait, or me, or me. Because I have also admitted that. But if Nova's admitted that, I'm gonna attack her for her Warrior Cat OCs. I didn't realize how many VTubers were into Warrior Cats. I was looking at like three, four different VTubers now. It's like, oh my God. You definitely look like a warrior cat kid. What? Show me your warrior cat OCs. They're like, oh my god, I didn't even know. All VTubers are furries, guys. Come on. Wake up. Wake up. I think since you said that you would like to keep things in Guardians for the first month, maybe in May. Oh, true. 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 No, you're real. You're real. As her mochi's she's never mentioned. Oh my god, Amaze. Tell her to. Tell her to make a warrior cat OC. I want to do a stream sometime this month where I draw the V Reverie girls as warrior cats. So I, I can make her a warrior cat OC then. <laughs> I plan to do like a stream where I have like a PowerPoint presentation where I explain to you guys what warrior cats is first because I know people are going to be confused. Uh, and once we've done a presentation, I'm going to be making warrior names for everyone in V Reverie and I'm going to be assigning them a clan and then I'm going to be designing them a warrior cat OC. Because what a better way to show my love for these people than to draw them as cats. Like, I really don't know how else I'm supposed to tell them that I love them. This is, like, truly the only way. Stop it. I see you burning in here. You can't hide. You're on fire. I don't know how you're planning on hiding that. There you go. Okay, we're gonna, put, we're gonna fill this in. We're gonna fill this in with dirt. And then, and then I'll let you guys go and do more important things. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited for this space. I want to, I think maybe next Minecraft stream that we do, we might start the stream by like working on like a proper sketch. Like I'll go to creative mode and I'll take like a couple of different photos of this mountain from different angles and then we can work on how, like exactly how we want it to look. I think it'll be really cool. Like that would be really cool. I used to read Warrior Cats. Dude, it is, it has gotten crazy in the most recent books. Like, goddamn, it has gotten crazy. <laughs> I don't even know how to begin explaining. Um, so like they they introduced the concept of like possession, which was weird. So Ashford, Ashford, like it's oh yeah, it's still going. Like Ashford, he was in 
He was in Star Clan for some stupid messed up reason. Um, but then because he was so restless in Star Clan, he found like a like a tunnel to the Dark Forest. So he snuck into the Dark Forest. So he's a Star Clan cat that snuck into the Dark Forest. Um, and then he found out a way to possess living cats. I I can't remember how. So he possessed Bramble Star. Um, and he like Bramble Star like lost a life in a fat uh, in a fight. And when he was like in the middle of being revived, Ashfur possessed him and took him over, and was like trying to like lead Thunder Clan. And he was like making all these new rules and stuff. Um, and then there was like a new like Dovewing and Tigerheart had kittens. Uh, one of them is called like Shadow Sight, and he has like. He can see ghosts, I think. And there's also this new cat called Tree who can see ghosts. And he has a son called Root Spring who can also see ghosts. So they could like see Ashfur possessing Bramble Star. It, it, it was weird. Um, so then they had to like, a lot of the books take place in them like actually going to the dark forest and like having to like fight Ashfur in the dark forest and stuff. It, it was really weird. Um, but they did introduce this cool lore now that with the tunnel between the Dark Forest and Star Clan, there's like this new character that it he 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 like it was supposed to be a punishment, but I don't think he deserved it. But he has been like banished for eternity to like be the guardian of the tunnel. So he permanently lives in between Star Clan and the Dark Forest, and he is like the 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 guard of the tunnel to make sure that no one can go back and forth between Star Clan and the Dark Forest. I think it's a really cool concept. I just don't like how they turned it into a punishment for him because I don't think he deserved it. If that was like a role that he offered to do himself, then I think that would have been fine. But making it a punishment was just weird. I'm gonna make a book club and read Warrior Cats together. I would literally love to do anything else that isn't reading Warrior Cats. <laughs> I hate Warrior Cats. <laughs> I hate, I hate warrior cats. All me and my homies hate warrior cats. Uh, maybe, I don't know. Warrior cats generally isn't a series that I would encourage people to get into. If like, if you want to get into warrior cats to like make characters and draw art and, and make OCs, whatever, you don't need to read the books to do that. You just need to get like someone to give you like a down low and like maybe, maybe read one book at most. Um, but you really don't need to read them, and I would actually advise that you just don't do that. <laughs> just don't. Just save. Just save yourself the point. Like, it's okay. You don't need to. It's gonna be okay. That bad. It's something. Um, I don't really like the direction it started taking towards like the fourth to fifth series because it, it went from like series one is like okay here's a clan of cats that live in the wild and they have territory disputes and fights and they have like political drama and they have to fight a lot of battles for like territory and political reasons and for food and that was it that was it they had a religion sure but it was just a religion it was literally nothing more but then you got like the more recent series it's like okay the cats have superpowers now and also they perform agriculture and they're a ghost and the religion isn't a religion anymore it's an actual like power being of like ghost cats so when cats die they never actually die they are just ghosts now and they live in ghost world so there's like not even like there's no there's no punishment for a character to die anymore if a character dies they're not actually dead they just live in a different place now it's like it's weird it took away a lot of the stakes um and also like the characters there's so many characters and in the first series there weren't many characters like towards the end of the series there are a few characters but they built it up after a while and you could kind of know each character, and when they added a new character, it wasn't really overwhelming. But these new books, they add like 10 new characters every book, and I have no idea who anyone is, and like none of the original characters around anymore. It's all like their grandchildren. It's like, I don't know who Twig Branch is. Like, I know who Squirrel Paw is, but I couldn't tell you who Twig Branch is. Um. But yeah, the new series is pretty good. Uh, Starless Clan, like the most recent book, Wind, came out like a couple, like a couple of weeks ago. Um, it's been pretty cool. I think the writing team is aware of like how over the top things have gotten lately, so they've toned it down a bit. Uh, toned it down a bit, 
And the main conflict isn't even about like ghosts and possessions. Like the last season, it's literally just about like a murder mystery, which I think is uh, really refreshing because I was getting really sick of like, oh, this guy has superpowers and this guy is a ghost and this guy is a demon and this guy is back from the dead and this guy's possessed and this guy went back in time. It's like, it was so much and it was so stupid. And now it's literally just like, oh my God, these cats are guys and there's a murder mystery. That's it. It has been like six books and we're still ongoing that murder mystery like that's that's it yeah that was a cat that could time travel tubular cat hack <gasps> chiaki katsumi oh my god is that the only vtuber that i have an acrylic keychain for that's a lie i have i have a couple others is this the first vtuber that i ever bought an acrylic keychain for listen let me jingle it you can't hear me jingling it listen to this jingle oh yeah Oh yeah, I love my Chiaki Katsumi Summer Edition Acrylic Keychain. I want more. Anyway, hello cat hackers. It is really funny that you guys just came in here. Wait, I need to, I need to introduce myself. Uh, Foodie Foodie, it's the most awesome official predator of the planet, it's me. Foodie 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 I have to hold my breath until they say Ferntail. They're trained very, very well. But hi, everyone. My name is Free Ferntail. I am a weasel who likes to play Minecraft and Pokemon. Um, I've recently debuted last week under V Reverie. Um, I'm having a lot of fun being alive. I am learning a lot of things. <laughs> uh, welcome in. We have been playing Minecraft for a hot second. We were in the middle of talking about warrior cats, uh, which is funny. Because the, then the cat came in. So, we're talking about our plans on turning this entire uh, mountainside into like a giant, wacky, kind of hamster tube mansion. Um, and then we just like cleaned out this whole area. Because I want to flatten this whole area down for like farms and stuff. So today was just like a big setup day. Technically, this is my first day because my last Minecraft stream, I died and I lost everything anyway. So we kind of started from scratch again. <laughs> Um, but I play lots of Minecraft, I play lots of Pokemon, I am a week old, and funnily enough, I am about to end my stream! <laughs> I am also about to end my stream! But hello, cat hackers, I hope you guys stay for a little while, you hit like and subscribe, because I want a lot of followers so I can make a lot of money. Um, and with that, I hope you guys stick around, and I'm also gonna send you guys somewhere else. <laughs> I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I- Usually, you, if this if this happened, oh my god, if this happened, I, I would usually stay online for a little bit longer, but I have to pee really, really badly. <laughs> I have to pee so bad. So, Reggie Candy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. Chiaki, I owe you a raid, okay? I, I, owe, I owe you. <laughs> I owe you a raid. It's okay. You guys still have some time once I actually figure out how to raid people again, because I still have no idea what the hell I'm doing at any point in time. I, I go to edit, I go to customization, I go to redirect, I go to search videos from other channels. <gasps> okay, and then this is how I see who's live right now. Okay, 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 there's a couple of people live. I don't know, ooh, I don't know who I want to ring. I don't know how, mm, ooh, ooh, I don't know who I want to raid. Ooh. Okay. So, to my knowledge... Wait, when is this stream starting? Let me open up YouTube on another tab. When is this stream starting? When does this start? Oh, it doesn't start until five days. Why was it giving... Why was it recommending me a stream that doesn't start in five days? That's crazy. Um, okay, okay, okay. We're gonna raid into... Oh my god, down to Rompa. Okay, we're gonna raid into Kuma Nui Mail. We're gonna, we're gonna raid into... Into Kuma... Ku, 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 Kuma Nui Mail. Uh, from, from, from Globy. From Globy, because I love Globy. I love Europe! I love Europe. I love European streamers. I love streamers. Okay. 
Globy's fair. We're going to Globy. I love Globy, guys. Have you guys have you guys picked up on my harassment of Kohaku? It's very, very fun. He debuted today. I'm so excited to spam him and harass him with Join My Clan even more now that he has officially, uh, like, debuted. Like, one day, I'm sure he, um, we're going to be in, like, a room where we have to talk to each other. And at this point, I don't know if I can hold a real actual conversation with him because the only words I've ever spoken to him ever is Join My Clan, uh, which is also Warrior Cats reference. Um, so I have no idea if we're gonna have, like, a real conversation, because I feel like I'm gonna, like, break, break the magic if I say to him, like, anything else. <laughs> okay, thank you, okay, yes, good night, everyone, thank you guys very much for being here for Minecraft today. Thank you for listening to me yap for everything and listen to me mine blocks for hours. I bet you didn't realize that three hours of digging dirt and chatting happened, did you? <laughs> okay, reminder, tomorrow, tomorrow... At 8 p.m. BST or 3 p.m. EDT, we're going to be doing a Pokemon TCG stream. I'm going to be redeeming 300 Pokemon card codes live on stream. And I'm also going to be answering some marshmallows as we do that. Because I'm aware that it might get quite boring and repetitive just scanning card codes over and over and over again. So I will also be answering marshmallows. So if you guys go into the description of this stream, my marshmallow link is there and you can send me some questions on my marshmallow. Marshmallow. I'll make sure you I'll make sure you guys know on Twitter also on top of that so you don't forget. Um, yeah, so be in my stream tomorrow, please. I will be redeeming a bunch of Pokemon card codes. You can send in your Q&A questions for me to answer. And if you are the person who sent me the marshmallow asking about how to donate code cards to me, uh, you can email them to me at foodie.vreverie at gmail.com. That, uh, that email address is on my Twitter and it is also in my YouTube information. So if you guys want me to have your code cards, I will very gladly take them off your hand. You can email them to me. Uh, do not put them in the Discord or anything because other people can very easily steal those codes and take them from themselves. So please email them to me so no one else can see them. Um, yes, thank you guys very much for being at my stream here today. Thank you for playing Minecraft. Uh, thank you guys for making such a good impression on my mom that she remembered some of your names. <laughs> uh, and thank you for lots of support. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, one last time. Finally, the most efficient and cutest and smallest and most awesome predator on the whole planet is me. Buddy, 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 buddy.